Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Marvel. Check-in system, obtain Superman bloodline at the beginning. Chapter 61. Perhaps the pain of death more than 10,000 times is what I should endure. Ancient One sighed inwardly. Suddenly she felt that the 10,000 deaths that Superman brought her was a punishment from God. These pains are not torture for her, but, they should be a kind of redemption. Thought here, Ancient One suddenly no longer felt tormented when facing death, on the contrary, took the initiative to welcome it. These pains are tormenting though. But anyway, it can make her feel a little less guilty. Lin Yu naturally didn't know what Ancient One was thinking at the moment. Definitely if he knew. Definitely need to slap Caecilius on the head a hundred times on the spot. Maid, tell you what a fool to talk. It made Ancient One inexplicably inspired the strange properties of Sheikh M. The pain of death in this time loop is of no use to Ancient One at all, and people no longer feel that it is pain, but atonement, which is contrary to Lin Yu's initial thoughts. If Lord Dormammu arrives at that time, he will definitely be happy to be your friend. After securing his head, Caecilius flattered Lin Yu and said, After all, you are so powerful, and you are the master of the Dark Book, and Lord Dormammu likes to make friends with strong people, I believe you will definitely in the future. Can also become a cosmic Mephista like Dormammu Sama. This rainbow fart made Caecilius disgusting himself. He wasn't like this before. But there is no way, reality is stronger than people. He vowed that when his plan succeeds, he will definitely screw off the head of this hateful Superman and use it as a ball kick. Lin Yu is naturally indifferent to this rainbow fart. He glanced at Caecilius lightly. Are you underestimating me, comparing me to Dormammu? Ah, this, definitely not. Caecilius' cheeks twitched. If it's not, then go away, I'm going to cast a spell, and you are ready to wait for a while for the summoning ceremony. Lin Yu said and stood up from the seat. Yes, yes, yes. Hearing this, Caecilius clenched his fists fiercely, the blue veins on his forehead protruded violently, and he was extremely angry, but he did not dare to attack now, and immediately bowed his head and stepped aside respectfully. And Lin Yu waved his hand. Whoa, the Book of Darkness floated in front of him. And turned the page. A strange dark red color gradually bloomed from above. Soon, with the sound of Chi Chi as if the pages of a book were burning, flames swirled around the pages without any words. This is the fire of hell. The fire of hell is burning more and more intensely, more and more vigorously. Until the time when the whole book seemed to be swallowed up. Snapped. Lin Yu snapped his fingers suddenly. All the flames exploded suddenly, divided into four directions, and splattered away, and in each direction, the flames seemed to smash the glass, and cracks burst out with a click. Until the cracks became more and more dense, as if to spread the space on the top floor of the Life Foundation Company. Clang clang. The space shattered like glass. Transparent and invisible space debris scattered like snowflakes. And the moment it fell to the ground, the surrounding scenery suddenly changed. Originally, the surrounding area was only a faint dark red color, but now, it has turned into a thick blood-like crimson, a proper horror movie scene that is enough to scare dead men. Well, this place has become a different latitude space independent of the reality of the earth, and you can perform the summoning ceremony of Dormammu. Lin Yu looked at Caecilius. Continue to sit leisurely. This space of different latitudes is simply, awesome. Although I hate and fear Superman. But Caecilius also had to admit. This space of different latitudes is really too powerful. It is not like the mirror space. The mirror space is strictly based on a reflection of the real space, and it is more appropriate to describe it as a fantasy. What is phantom? That is false, unreal. And now this different latitude space, it really exists, independent of reality, it is equivalent to forcibly cutting off a part of reality. Although such a little space is not even one part in a billion compared to the real world. But it seems that there is already a taste of alter reality. Such a great different latitude space, Although it is not big and the layout is small, but the intensity is very high, so that the dark energy density that can be tolerated will also increase geometrically. Caecilius narrowed his eyes, and then, he he. Superman, you'll be dead soon. Well, I'll start the ceremony. Luo. When thinking of Dormammu, Caecilius looked solemn and solemn. He walked to the center of this different latitude space. The symbiont tissue on the body wriggled for a while. Chi Chi. Four smooth symbiotic soft bodies soon fell down, and with constant twisting, 
they gradually differentiated into hands, feet, body, and head. In the end, a human figure is formed, becomes exactly the same as Caecilius' original human body. These symbiotic replicas and Caecilius faced each other in the positions of pentagrams, and the distance between them was about one meter. The whole picture looked rather strange. When Lin Yu saw this, his eyes moved slightly. This evolutionary symbiote really has something, but then again, the riot in Caecilius seems to have been silent for a long time. With the temperament of that rioter, would it be so easy to be completely controlled by Caecilius? Gee, this is very mysterious. Caecilius naturally didn't think about riots. In his opinion, the riot has long been his puppet, a weapon that he can use and control at will, without the slightest resistance, and it is even more difficult to set off any waves. Stand with the four replicas. Caecilius raised his hand suddenly. The dark mana of the fingertips surged, and a dark red mark was gradually drawn from the void. This mark is exactly the same as the mark between ancient one's eyebrows. It is the sign that represents Dormammu and the latitude of darkness. At the moment when this magic mark was drawn, Caecilius and the four symbiotic replicas all began to chant obscure incantations. Dude Dormammu, Ah Sedorf, Shiroi Dormammu, Uda Yadamarozalu, Sayasume Dormammu. E-M-M-M-M-M. Say something, although this spell may sound incomprehensible. But the whole scene looked, especially Caecilius with a big riot-like head chanting a spell, it really looked like a sand sculpture. Pissed, Lin Yu couldn't help laughing all of a sudden. And Caecilius was originally excited, with a heart of piety and a desire for strength, the ceremony was about to come to an end. Lin Yu this pissed smile. Immediately, the atmosphere became weird. You must know that Caecilius can be divided from the beginning to the end. Oh no, a large part of the attention is on Lin Yu. After all, in his opinion, this Superman is not only strong, but also very perverted. What do you do suddenly? Therefore, Lin Yu's pissed smile immediately disturbed Caecilius' mood. The ceremony just messed up. PFF'd, Caecilius couldn't help spitting out a mouthful of blood. This ritual was messy, and naturally there would be some backlash. But fortunately, he has the symbiotic body of Riot in his body, and his resilience is strong. Superman, what are you laughing at? I have to say that the shadow Lin you brought to Caecilius' heart was a little big, and Caecilius couldn't help but feel a little scared when he smiled. Ah, it's okay, you continue. Lin Yu turned serious and waved Caecilius to continue. Ah, okay. Caecilius wiped the blood from the corners of his mouth. A black thread continues the ritual from scratch. Dude Dormammu, ah Sedorf. Pissed. This time, before the spell was half recited, a can't help laughing came over, and Caecilius looked at Lin Yu with a thick question mark on the spot. This time he couldn't bear it anymore and asked Lin Yu. Superman, don't know what I did to make you feel so funny. Am I smiling? Lin Yu immediately said with a serious look. Caecilius was immediately speechless. Maid, you are clearly smiling. It didn't stop at all. Well, it's like this, Caecilius, I, but Superman, have super endurance, so no matter how funny things are, I don't laugh. Lin Yu said, unless you can't help it. Caecilius. A mouthful of blood gushed out from the corner of his mouth. Okay, you go ahead and do the ritual to summon Dormammu. Lin Yu waved his hand. Let Caecilius continue. And Caecilius had a black face. He felt that Lin Yu was playing with him on purpose, making things difficult for him, and even laughing at him. But, what if it was true? Now, he doesn't dare to resist the Superman in front of him at all. Humph, Superman, the humiliation you brought to me, I will return it to you intact, for sure. Caecilius's teeth tickled with hatred. But right now, he didn't dare to show any fangs at all. Instead, he wanted to show a flattering look to Lin Yu. Yes, the process of the ceremony is not complicated, as long as the incantation is finished, using this special magic matrix as a medium to communicate with the dark dimension, Lord Dormammu can come. Business as usual, the void outlines a magical matrix that represents the hallmark of the dark dimension. Finish chanting obscure spells, Caecilius and his four clones suddenly glowed with dark light. This time Lin Yu didn't make a sound, but watched the changes on Caecilius's body with his eyes fixed, and saw that whether it was Caecilius or the four symbiotic replicas he differentiated, all the signs of life were popping up on his forehead. 
a blood red mark that is stronger than ancient one and this mark is still braving the sparks of energy sparks it made a screeching sound like something was burning at the same time straws of dark energy that were almost visible to the naked eye spread out from kaiselia's eyes the concentration of this energy was so high that it crystallized at the moment of spreading forming dark energy crystals like broken diamonds all over kaiselia's eyes around the eye sockets at first glance this looks like a smoky look with a shimmering liquid foundation oh smoky makeup upgrade no it seems more than that lin yu is like watching a play watching kai Celius changes with interest he could definitely see that this guy actually hated him in his heart and wished he could be smashed to ashes on the spot in short no matter what whether it was really summoning dormammu or doing some little tricks behind his back after the ceremony was completed the other party will definitely feel that he has done it again and he will attack on the spot in this regard, Lin Yu said, This big brother in riot skin is a little more powerful. If you don't make me feel good after you explode. So, but I'm sorry, referring to physical sorry. Anyway, Lin Yu is waiting for Kaecilius to bring him any surprises. Dormammu belongs to the dark latitude and is not affected by the law of the universe at any time, so as long as anything related to Dormammu, the omniscient and omnipotent power of Yuhabak cannot perceive it. And this is one of the reasons why Lin Yu is interested in Dormammu. After all, in many cases, the unknown is the most anticipated. Boom rumble one underscore. Suddenly, the surroundings trembled, as if an earthquake had occurred. As the dark energy on Caecilius became more and more dense, the center of the astral circle where he and his four symbiotic replicas stood suddenly sunk and began to rotate, as if the surrounding space, whether it was the ground, walls, or ceiling it is no longer a stable hole, but a building block part that can be moved and rotated at will. Caecilius waved his hand. Wow, the surrounding space was divided and reorganized layer by layer, and even turned upside down, quickly forming a very wide altar-like pattern. And he stood in the center of the altar. Underfoot is the blood-red imprint of the dark latitude. This blood-red mark seems to be communicated to a mysterious space. From there, an extremely dark and deep breath spreads, and it climbs up to Caecilius, and spreads into the surrounding space, making the surrounding space. The dark energy density began to become more and more intense. It even started to crystallize. From the ground, walls, and ceilings, purplish-black crystals condensed. Obviously, surrounding space, being devoured, all the existence of matter is being swallowed and transformed into energy, and finally integrated into the darkness. And Caecilius, the shiny smoky makeup on his face at the moment is getting thicker and thicker, and the coverage is getting bigger and bigger, until finally, not just around the eye sockets. Instead, it covers his cheeks, his body, and hands, feet and limbs. In an instant, his whole person seems to have been completely transformed from matter to energy, and his whole body is made of crystals made of dark energy. Moreover, his body suddenly swells at this moment, becoming like a real giant. At the same time, his head a raging magical flame begins to burn. Except that it is not as big as Dormammu, it is exactly the same shape as Dormammu. Ha 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 ha, a cruel smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. And it quickly turned into a wild laughter. The ultimate crazy laugh. Caecilius suddenly looked at Lin Yu. After acquiring a huge amount of dark energy and his form changed, he felt the surging surging inside his body to the extreme, the kind of powerful force that seemed to be able to tear the earth apart with his bare hands. Apparently feel like, again, the hatred for Lin Yu in my heart was no longer hidden, but broke out completely. Superman, as you wished, I summoned Lord Dormammu. However, the great and honorable Lord of Darkness, Lord Dormammu, has no interest in dealing with ants like you. Therefore, he gave me real power and projected it on on me, let me turn into his representative to punish you, a rebellious person who dares to disrespect the darkness. Caecilius made a loud, high-pitched voice, with extreme pride and hatred for Lin Yu. So, now, crawl under my feet and tremble freely. I will give you back the humiliation and torture you gave me ten times, a hundred times, a thousand times. I will tear your flesh and blood, crush your soul into slag, and turn all your relatives and friends into pieces. Be a puppet to my dark servants. I'm going to crush you. Bone, raise, ash, rumbling. An incomparably huge hand, at this moment, grabbed towards Lin Yu. 
and easily, he grabbed Lin Yu in his hand. Caecilius let out an extremely ferocious laugh. He looked at Lin Yu who was easily grabbed by him, like a chicken to be slaughtered. He was very pleased. Heart is very comfortable. Hum. Superman, there are times when you are pinched by me in the palm of your hand. Now, I will let you suffer the humiliation you have done to me, and I will blow your head away. Undoubtedly, what made Caecilius feel the most suffocated was Lin Yu's slap on the head. The kind of way he picked up his brain, Nuo's Zhao Bagan looked at the other party high above, with a happy guilty appearance, really made him angry. Therefore, he will also blow this guy's head off. Then follow. Torture this guy's soul. Shish. Without hesitation, Caecilius raised his other hand, and a majestic force suddenly surged from it. After pausing for a while in midair, it instantly turned into a phantom, directly slapped with a tens of millions of force, fanning towards Lin Yu's head. Boom, the next moment, I heard the sound of an egg hitting a metal object. Lin Yu looked at Caecilius with a blank expression. He, as if nothing happened at all roar. Even the hairstyle is still not messed up. And on the palm of Caecilius's slap, a head-shaped hole suddenly appeared. What are you doing? Lin Yu's eyes gradually showed indifference, he looked at Caecilius and said, are you doing a head model for me? Luo, Caecilius' eyes twitched violently. He he, Superman, don't be complacent, but your head is just a little bit tough. Look, I won't cut off your entire head and even the root of your neck. Although the first hit didn't work, but the blow just now was probably because he couldn't fully adapt to the powerful power Dormammu gave him, and he didn't use it perfectly. Caecilius gave Lin Yu a vicious look. This time, you're not so lucky. There was no hesitation. He directly launched the second strike. A large number of dark energy crystals condensed in the palm of his hand, and concentrated again at this moment. In an instant, his entire palm turned into a giant dark sickle. There is a large amount of high-density and high-speed rotating dark energy flow at the blade of the sickle. Although it seems invisible, it only emits a kind of dark light, but the effect is like a chainsaw running at the speed of light. The cutting force can be described as extremely high. It's powerful, let alone a human head, even if it's a god's head, I'll show it to you. Caecilius grinned grimly. He could already imagine the wonderful scene where Superman's head was cut off by him and kicked as a ball. The blood spurting from his neck like a column, and the desperate and incredible look in Superman's eyes, would definitely make him enjoy it very much. And, it's not over yet, he will also take out Superman's soul, use the most vicious magic spells, make him the most devout dark slave, and ravage him wantonly, so that Superman will kneel at his feet forever, and in order to make him happy, he will do all kinds of things. All kinds of humiliating actions and behaviors. Just thinking about this scene makes me stunned. However, the YY of Castle Yas is not over yet. The reality is, when the blade of the giant dark scythe cut Lin Yu's neck, he heard a series of sparks, and then with a click, the scythe was broken, broken, broken. Caecilius roar sucks for a while. Eyes wide open. Pupils narrow. Brain is blank. How can that be? Really. And Lin Yu felt the mosquito bite-like feeling on his neck, and his eyes couldn't help but become more indifferent. He looked at Caecilius and said in a cold voice, That's it. You and I. Caecilius wanted to say another harsh word, but the words came to his lips, but he couldn't say anything. He was about to cry on the horse. Mad, no, this is not scientific at all. He has clearly become very, very strong, and now he can basically be regarded as a representative of Dormammu, guaranteed to have a full tenth of Dormammu's strength. But why? Still can't beat this Superman. There must be something wrong. No way. I'll have to try again. This nasty Superman must be playing some tricks, or he's cast some invincible spell, as long as the time expires, he'll be finished in no time. Caecilius immediately launched a third strike directly at Lin Yu. No use. Fourth hit. Still useless. Fifth hit. Sixth hit. Seventh hit. Eighth hit. It's useless to double Nifa again. Grass. Caecilius collapsed. His heart was trembling wildly, his pupils were shrinking violently, and even holding Lin Yu's hand, he couldn't stop trembling wildly. Superman, you you you, what the hell are you? Caecilius couldn't believe it, the existence in front of him was actually a human being. Impossible, this is not human at all. This is monster. A complete monster. Ah, 
Lin Yu couldn't help but let out a long sigh, and he felt very troubled and bored. At least it made him look forward to it, but in the end, the combat power he finally showed was just, like this. Lin Yu was extremely disappointed. He is not happy. He was so angry. Caecilius, I have given you so many chances, I am so kind to you, just like an old father caring for his son, I have great expectations for you, so I only do it again and again, if I leave you alone, I will wait for you to come up with a result that is enough to satisfy me and make me feel at least the fun of fighting. But, the result, the whole face was buried in the shadows, and the veins on the fist gradually emerged. Lin Yu's voice, at this moment, was like a whisper of a god. You are so disappointed in me. The moment the voice fell, Caecilius suddenly felt a strong sense of suffocation. Even more, from the huge palm of his grasping Lin Yu, an overwhelming power burst out gradually. Caecilius trembled inwardly. An extremely unpleasant feeling welled up from the bottom of my heart. He quickly let go. DBAF and want to retract back. Can. It's too late. Seeing Lin Yu grabbing lightly, he grabbed a finger of his huge palm. This scene was like a mayfly shaking a tree. Under normal circumstances, Caecilius only needs to wave his huge finger lightly to be able to do it, throwing the tiny Lin Yu away. However, the reality is that he used all his strength, and he even used the strength to suckle. But it can't shake the opponent at all. Instead, Lin Yu raised his hand. Caecilius's dormammu shaped gigantic body seemed to lose its strength for a moment and was lifted up by Lin Yu all at once and it's still up high. Raised high, then fall with Lin Yu. Boom, Caecilius was slammed to the ground like a sandbag, and the power was so great that the surrounding space began to vibrate wildly, and even cracked. But all of this is just the beginning. I already told you, summon Dormammu, do you know what it means to be summoned? Why don't you cosplay Dormammu? Lin Yu raised his hand again. Fall again. Boom. Under the terrifying force, Caecilius' body of Dormammu, which was formed by the crystallization of high-concentration dark energy, suddenly cracked open with a click. Don't worry about your cosplay Dormammu, at least show some strength that makes me feel good. But what have you done? You didn't even mess up my hair, you said that you were so bad ashamed. Boom, 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 Lin Yu said, and suddenly fell three times in a row. This time Caecilius really cracked. The huge amounts of impact force directly smashed him into pieces, and his head flew off. But fortunately now, he is the energy crystal projected by Dormammu. As long as the dark energy is not extinguished, then he will basically not die, and he will recover again, and his resilience is stronger than before. A. Tired. Under Lin Yu's absolute dominance, Caecilius couldn't resist at all, and could only be ravaged at will, which made him doubt his life, and he was about to lose his dream. Why, why is this so? With him, is it really impossible to shake Superman at all? It's too weak, too weak, it's too weak, you can't help falling even if you fall, you say, what value do you have to survive in this world? What are you? Lin Yu stomped on Caecilius's broken body with a big foot. Then swish, blink again to Caecilius flying head. Can you, raise your foot, it's a kick, give me some strength. Boom. Caecilius's huge head, like Dormammu, was burning with magical flames, and was kicked out by Lin Yu all of a sudden. Immediately, the splendid magical flames burst out like rain, and scattered in the air. That, as if to represent the lost youth of Caecilius. Definitely, although it seems that Lin Yu even kicked his head off, Caecilius is still not dead, but he has been beaten by Lin Yu at this moment. Even the desire for self-recovery is almost gone even if it gets back in shape. That's a beating too. Better yet, blow up and blow up. Caecilius is autistic and can no longer be autistic. Not that he wanted a dog. But that Superman is really not human. HMPH, it's really useless. Suddenly, a cold humming sound resounded in Caecilius's soul consciousness. This voice was low, hoarse, and powerful, with a strong disdain and ridicule. Caecilius, you are really useless, you have so much energy from Dormammu, but you don't know how to use it at all, you only play tricks, your use of power is as ridiculous as the retarded. Just like you, can you still be called a skilled magician? Still want to play the melee magician? Please, your opponent is Superman. You are truly a disappointment, not only for me, but also for your master, Dormammu. 
an ethereal shadow. From Caecilius's soul consciousness loomed. His eyes outlined the shape of a pale machete, and his mouth is full of fangs. This was the riot that had been silent in Caecilius for a long time. After being betrayed and exploited by Caecilius, the riots hated Caecilius to the core. At the beginning, he was also called Caecilius Brittany. Oh no, old friend, after all, Caecilius is the first human being possessed and satisfied on earth, and it has a kind of, first love, feeling. But now I can't wait to burn this guy to ashes. So when he saw Caecilius being beaten, he shut himself out. Immediately came up with a meal of ridicule and ridicule. Shut up. Caecilius is autistic about Superman, but it doesn't mean he is also autistic about the rioter, no matter how much you talk nonsense, I will wipe out the only consciousness you have. I can't deal with Superman, can't I deal with you? You, but it's just an alien loach, I can easily crush you to death. Alien loach. As soon as the riot heard this, his face twitched, you scold again. Oh, what's wrong with scolding you? Caecilius was a no-brainer for Superman. It is an absolute blow to the riots. In his view, the riots were nothing but a tool in his hands from beginning to end. But it is an alien deformed creature that cannot survive independently at all. Being able to be seen and used by him is undoubtedly a blessing that has been cultivated for all ages. Hee <laughs> hee, good, very good, Caecilius, since you sincerely want to die, then you can't blame me, do you think you really have complete control over me? The sound of the riot at the moment was extremely cold, and an undisguised killing intent penetrated from his consciousness. Caecilius naturally felt the killing intent immediately. But he didn't care. He was quite sure. The riot has been completely under his control. Especially in the ceremony just now, he was given a lot of dark energy by Dormammu, which made his own strength stronger. Although he was still blown up by Superman, he suppressed the riot with this power, and even wiped out the last consciousness of the riot. But there is no doubt that it is as simple as eating and drinking. Tisk tisk, let me guess, are you thinking now that you have the huge dark energy bestowed by Dormammu, suppressing me, or even killing me, as simple as eating and drinking? Riot suddenly sneered. When, eh, Caecilius was about to sneer and say definitely. But suddenly he realized something. An extremely bad feeling suddenly surged from the bottom of my heart. Riot, how did he know what he was thinking? Although it is said that after combining with the symbiote, it is like a body with two souls, as long as it is willing, the symbiote can easily know the inner thoughts of the host. But, the situation on his side was different. The riot was forcibly integrated into the body by him using special magic spells, which was equivalent to building a prison in the body, and then completely imprisoned the riot in it. Under normal circumstances, riots can only be squeezed and demanded unilaterally by him constantly. And the riots could not control and affect him at all. Naturally, there was no way to know what was on his mind. But now, why? Hee <laughs> hee, Caecilius, do you think the energy that Dormammu gives you is so easy to bear? When you are full of fanatical worship, this energy will bring you the ultimate power, but when you are defeated, when your heart is full of despair and self-doubt, then this force will turn against you. This is the power that belongs to the strong, and the weak do not deserve it. Is it, venerable dark lord, my lord Dormammu? Speaking of the third sentence, it's clear that Riot is no longer talking to Caecilius. His consciousness suddenly became extremely pious. Called to an unknown location roar. And Caecilius heard the words. The pupils shrank suddenly. What? What did you just say? Yes, only the strong are worthy of truly possessing my power, and as the spokesperson of my dark latitude, bringing redemption and immortality to all beings. A voice that contained mystery, greatness, depth, and endless majesty sounded at this time. And at the moment of the sound, Caecilius' soul shook violently. It was as if he had been hit hard by a force of unparalleled power. Not a single one of them dissipated directly. He suddenly lost his soul, and said to the voice in extreme panic, Lord Dormammu, I was wrong. I was wrong. I still have the fighting power. I'll deal with that Superman right away. I'll kill that traitor. Please, give me some more time. Ha ha. However, what responded to him was only a violent sneer. Oh, Caecilius, again, do you think you really have control over me? Yes, you have trapped me and restricted my freedom, but don't forget, I am still symbiote, the moment you integrate with me, then, you are me, and I am you. 
The corner of the riotous mouth grinned grimly, and since you can communicate with Dormammu, then so can I. You you you. Caecilius was so angry that his soul was shaking. He did not expect that the riot could communicate with Dormammu through him, and it seemed that the communication was successful. This made Caecilius inner bad feeling stronger and stronger. What the hell did you say to Dormammu? Zero. Not much to say. The riot seemed to be watching the drowning man struggling at the end, and said leisurely, I just gave you a piece of advice to your respected Lord Dormammu, that is, when you can't do it, deprive you of the control of the dark energy and let me, to completely replace you. Humph, want to replace me? Impossible, absolutely impossible. Caecilius tried his best to communicate with Dormammu, Master Dormammu, don't listen to the nonsense of this alien loge, only me, only your fanatic like me, can be your spokesperson. This alien loge, he just a vile and deformed creature that doesn't even know magic, how can it represent you? Since you are my devout fanatic, then I will grant you redemption and eternal life, and from now on, stay by my side and serve me forever. I don't know where it came from. Dormammu's mysterious voice resounded again. Caecilius was overjoyed when he heard this. But soon he felt uncomfortable. Um, what is, always be by my side? Why does this sentence suddenly sound a bit lauren? Wait, Lord Dormammu, I. Caecilius was about to say something. However, the words hadn't come out yet. Suddenly, the dark latitude mark engraved on his eyebrows suddenly burned. This burning power is extremely terrifying, and it seems to be aimed specifically at mad believers like him. It instantly spreads over Caecilius' entire soul, and directly burns his soul into pitch black. The next moment, a strange suction came from a certain latitude. Wow, very simply and quickly, the soul of Caecilius was taken away. All that was left was Caecilius's extremely shrill scream, which still echoed in the void. No, it's really sad. The riot watched Caecilius' soul being directly taken away by Dormammu, and he felt more at ease. Although he also didn't quite know what it meant when his soul was taken away by Dormammu. But at least not as redemption and eternal life as Dormammu said. How crazy is this? Now that Caecilius is gone, this body, and all the dark energies from Dormammu are mine. It's really, awesome. Caecilius was addressed by Dormammu. The riot immediately felt that the suppressing force from all over his body dissipated without a trace. He couldn't wait to control this body immediately. After all, Caecilius sold everything he could to deal with Superman. This body can be said to be the incarnation of Dormammu at the moment, eliminating all the ills of the material body, as if there was already a Dormammu body. One of the characteristics of, 97. It can be called immortal in the true sense, and it is not a problem to call it, little Dormammu. Definitely, in the riots, this level is still no match for Superman. After all, Caecilius just now was a living example. Therefore, he intends to use this body that contains the characteristics of Dormammu's body, as well as the huge and pure dark energy in it, to do something that he has long expected and planned for a long time. And this is the key reason why he can persuade Dormammu. Riot, don't let me down. The mysterious and majestic voice of Dormammu suddenly sounded in the riot consciousness. My eyes will always be on this different latitude space, although it is too small to accommodate my body, but I will give you enough power to the greatest extent, and you, I hope you can bring me a sufficient great show, kill that Superman, that Superman. Apparently the next sorcerer supreme appointed by Ancient One, I need to make him disappear from this world in advance. Definitely, dear Lord Dormammu. More, Riot showed a confident look. I have also read the Book of the Dark Gods, and in it, the ancient demons recorded the forbidden technique of calling gods. No matter how Superman is, he is still a human being, and cannot be compared with gods, especially, a real god. During the speech, suddenly, the idea of rioting suddenly moved. Wow, originally, Caecilius' body and head kicked out by Lin Yu turned into a strong dark energy like countless ghosts. But in the end, but it did not condense into the appearance of Dormammu. Instead, it has completely turned into a huge amount of, a super giant head that looks like a riot, almost filling the space on the top floor of the entire Life Foundation Company building. Oh, suddenly, a riotous big head popped out in front of him. This scene really made Lin Yu happy. Ordinary people may be frightened. But Lin Yu still had the urge to grab the, incomparably sultry, tongue in the riot's mouth. 
Hee hee, riot, I seem to have heard Caecilius screams just now, you must have used some method to kill him, right? Congratulations, you have mastered the autonomy of your body again, but I can remind you, you have to be stronger than Caecilius, otherwise, don't blame me for sending you to Dormammu too. Lin Yu looked up at the big head of the riot, squinting with a smile. The riot this guy has been holding back for so long. He knew there must be a big move. Looking at the riot at the moment, Lin Yu couldn't help but look forward to it. And the riot looked at Lin Yu's squinting and smiling appearance, and couldn't help but secretly complain. Squinting eyes are monsters. To be honest, he was still a little nervous about the Superman in front of him. The shadow in Caecilius's heart also affected him slightly in Invisible, and he also witnessed how Caecilius was autistic from the beginning to the end. But I remembered my plan. And there is Dormammu behind him. Self-confidence surged in him again. I think I can do it too. HMPH, Superman, I admit that you are very good, Caecilius is no match for a hundred idiots. Riot stared at Lin Yu. Pale machete-like eyes narrowed slightly. However, Caecilius and I are different, my essence is still a symbiote, so the next thing to deal with you is not just me, but also. I have been in the Life Foundation Company for so long, using the Dark God book the technology and wisdom of thousands of compatriots made. I've never been alone. At the time of the rioting words, his thoughts moved. Immediately, several clones of Drake, who had been controlled by Caecilius due to the riot, fell unconscious in various corners of the research room, and the surviving Drake clones opened their eyes one after another. The theoretical scope of this space with different latitudes is actually the core of the entire Life Foundation company. Before Caecilius and Riot used the Dark Book, only to affect the top floor. And Lin Yu's spell directly covered the entire Life Foundation company and the surrounding space. Therefore, all the facilities in the Life Foundation Company can continue to operate completely here. After several Drake clones opened their eyes, they quickly started to work with the will of the riot. At the same time, there was a faint sound of strange noises in the entire Life Foundation Company, as if there were countless creatures, all of a sudden, all awake. Lin Yu didn't stop it. He was curious about how the riots would play out. Only at this moment, riot, a vigorous, full of anger, and violent killing intent sounded suddenly from the void. Follow closely. I saw that huge and ugly symbiote monster with a large number of tentacles all over its body, and each tentacle had a dense human face rushing towards the riot. Um, this scene was obviously very unexpected. Key part of his plan. This is the, god of symbiosis, that he spent a lot of effort to create. Although it is said that this thing is essentially a monster, it has nothing to do with the word God. But in fact this is only a semi-finished product. Not quite finished yet, but now, seeing that this semi-finished product suddenly lost control at the most critical moment, the riot was stunned for a moment, and then he couldn't help but turn pale. You you, Venom, Humph, Riot, you fool, I left the symbiote planet with you and came to the earth with you, and I took you as the leader, but you have been flirting with human beings all the time, and you are still thinking about me and your compatriots. Now make me such a mess. What the hell are you trying to do? I'm going to kill you, daddy. Boom. Huge amounts of symbiote monsters are no smaller than the big head of the riot, and as soon as the other party rushed over, a Taishan pressed the top, and with a rumbling sound, the riot was directly crushed on the spot. Is it another good show of dog bites dog? The scene where the riot was crushed by the huge symbiote monster was extremely intense, and Lin Yu couldn't help but eat melons on the spot. Exploring all the way from the bottom of the Life Foundation Company, it is not difficult to find that the riot guy keeps saying that he is for the sake of the symbiote family, but in fact it is only for his own selfish desires. He and Dr. Drake use the Dark Sacred Book to persecute not only human beings and their compatriots, especially those who are persecuted or venomous. Venom is one of the milder, less aggressive ones in the symbiote family. It's just that this kind of temperament tends to be gentle, but in the symbiotic family, it is a typical slapstick, an honest person, and the kind of object that everyone bullies. Such resignation also made Venom one of the most successful experimental subjects of the riot. His compatibility with humans. The best of all symbiotes. When Lin Yu first saw the huge symbiote monster, he almost guessed that it should be a synthesis symbiote, created by continuously transforming integrate based on the Venom ontology. Zero. This synthesis symbiote 
should be the ultimate body that the riots carefully prepared for themselves. A body that can truly be called a god. All in all. Still Ultron behavior. That's why the riots used the Dark God book to turn themselves into a special ghost form, which is what Caecilius called a soul symbiote form. He transformed himself into a true soul, like a human being, and then gave himself an invincible body. In this way, he could truly break the shackles of his original symbiosis, and thus truly evolve into a perfectly independent creature, the ultimate creature. No longer depends on anyone to survive, he is God himself. It's just that something went wrong. Under normal circumstances, Venom should have died long ago, and his consciousness has disappeared. Only the body that was transformed into a monster is left, but obviously Venom's consciousness has not completely disappeared, and it has been awakened by someone. Lin Yu's eyes moved. His eyes narrowed slightly, and he could see clearly under the ability to see through. Inside the huge symbiote monster transformed by the Venom, there is a figure covered with a Venom-like symbiote battle suit, which is constantly wriggling around. It was Eddie that guy. Tisk tisk. Things seemed to get a little more interesting. Lin Yu touched his chin and continued to watch the play. Originally, he thought that Eddie came with Ancient One to make soy sauce. The original plot of this guy as the protagonist has long since collapsed, and the aura of the protagonist has long been gone. To be honest, it is beyond Lin Yu's expectations that he can live until now. And now it seems, this guy not only can't get the lunch, but also seems to still have a certain role in this copy of the Life Foundation. This made Lin Yu eat melons more and more vigorously, and looked forward to the next development. Venom, you jerk, you haven't died yet, which really surprised me a little, but that's the end of it all. The current riots have no real form at all. The huge head turned into is also condensed by dark energy. Even if it was exploded by the poisonous hydraulic pressure, it was quickly condensed and formed again in the rolling black aura. Riot snorted at Venom. During this period, he glanced at Lin Yu quickly, and found that the other party didn't seem to take advantage of this time to attack him, and he couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. But he knew that even so, he couldn't waste too much time on Venom. Otherwise, the hell knows what that perverted Superman would suddenly do to him. So in order to avoid night-long dreams, he intends to quickly resolve Venom's lingering consciousness. What's the use of you just having a little consciousness? I have spent countless hours building this body, and I know how to control it, and, how to control it perfectly. Wow. Between words, the riot suddenly broke out, black aura surging up and down the whole body, and the majestic dark energy turned into a turbulent wave, swept away towards the venom. Humph, no matter what the hell you've become now, I'm going to kill you, Riot. Venom was furious, he just wants to kill the grandson of Riot now. Without hesitation, he raised several huge tentacles on his body. He threw it towards the Riot. However, the whole body of the Riot is now constructed of dark energy. Originally, it can be described as invisible and quality less, and general physical attacks have no effect on it at all. Venom's operation is as fierce as a tiger. A look at the damage. Instead, he was turned into a blade with dark energy by the riot, cutting off two tentacles. It made him depressed on the spot. What the hell is this? Hey, Venom, I've woken you up, and it's time to get out of your body, but can you tell me, how should I go? At this time, Eddie in the poisonous liquid suddenly made a sound. He also feels depressed now. Even though Venom is now a huge amount of symbiote monster, but the structure in its belly is not wide, Eddie squirmed in it for a long time, and he felt twisted and twisted, and he didn't know if he ran to this guy. Intestines. By the way, does this guy have guts? Fortunately, the environment in this venomous liquid is very suitable for symbionts to survive. Protected by a small venom. He didn't feel very uncomfortable either. It just kind of, felt weird. Yeah yeah, old Venom, how do I and Eddie get out? Otherwise Eddie and I won't be able to fight alongside you, are you fighting that guy called Riot now? I'm going to. Little Venom also shouted. Okay, don't be arguing, I'll let you out, just wait until I feel it. Venom didn't respond when he heard Eddie's shouting, but when he heard the voice of Little Venom, his tone suddenly softened like an old father. And Eddie heard Venom say, when I feel it, cannot help but stun. He always felt that this didn't seem like a good thing. Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean when you feel it? 
Eddie suddenly thought of something. His face twitched. He asked Venom with a black line on his face. However, Venom did not respond to him at all, because at this time the riot attacked again, and this time, the riot was obviously determined to take down Venom in one fell swoop. Boom, boom, I heard a roaring sound around. Suddenly, the walls collapsed, the floor shattered, and in the shadows stained with blood-red rays of light, countless figures could be seen pouring out from all directions like a tide. Those ones, all of them are symbiotes. These symbionts have all kinds of colors and everything. At first glance, there are thousands of them, and they are so dense that the scalp is tingling. When Venom saw this scene, he was immediately stunned. Ha, huh, Riot, you brought all our clansmen to Earth. No, wait, I don't know any of these guys, who are they? Tisk tisk, Venom, do you really not know each other? Riot looked extremely evil and smiled, they, but they are all children born from the belly of your current body. I have to say that as a mother, you are very competent, for us. The symbiote family has given birth to tens of thousands of well-evolved babies, and I have to give you a best mother award. Grass. Venom's face turned green when he heard the words, I'm a man. Cut. Why are males not males and females not females, our symbiote still has gender. Riot sneered, I'm a man at heart. Venom snorted coldly and retorted, otherwise, how could I be your father? The riot was suddenly choked up by Venom's eloquent words. But he doesn't care about it. After all, it is a symbiote, and there is no specific ethical concept of gender, let alone a sense of shame. Besides, no matter how powerful the venom is in his mouth, soon, this guy will die completely, and it belongs to him. Venom, you don't even know how great I am now, I created a god for our symbiotic family, and this god is me. The idea of rioting moved. The thousands of symbiotes all quickly crawled towards the venom, and quickly cling to the venom, pouring into the venom. And this influx, the faces that appeared on Venom's body suddenly screamed one by one, and in an instant, they melted away. At the same time, Venom felt that his body was suddenly out of control, as if, there was additional thoughts flooded into his consciousness. There seemed to be vague memories in that mind. Records the life of a human being. Good. Humanity. That thought is the soul of a human being. Venom was suddenly shocked. Riot you. These symbiotes are not real symbiotes at all. They are simply, the shells that hide human souls. Hee <laughs> hee, what you said is good, but what you said is also not right. Riot sneered and said, these symbiotes are the perfect symbiotes that I have gone through countless experiments and created. After they were born in your body, I let them all go out for food. You know what it means. It's just looking for food. A human, possessing each other, and then, devouring it completely and replacing it. They, but the essence of your body. It can even be a part of you. That's why, do you know what the faces that appear on your body mean? Yes, those are the appearances of people whose souls have been devoured. Every time a human being is devoured, a face will appear on you. Represents our trophies and medals. On the riotous face, there was a perverted sense of satisfaction and pride. Then, when the amount of devouring is sufficient, these essences that have become stronger will return again and gather on your body. At the moment when all are gathered, you will be sublimated from the semi-finished product to the final perfect finished product. And when the time comes, God will also appear. Definitely, to become a true God, a true symbiotic God, the most important thing is to have my existence. My soul, consciousness and wisdom are the true core of this body. And you, Venom, ha, huh, it's just a pile of scum and garbage. Riot unceremoniously mocked Venom, in his opinion. It is already a great honor to be able to become the object of his research and experiment. It's him. Endowed Venom with this glory. Venom should thank him. R. Venom was trembling with rage, and in his opinion, the riot had gone mad, completely mad. Become a god. Become a god of symbiotes. What kind of neuropathy is this happening? You must know that they came to the earth, but with the purpose of finding a new planet with a better environment and migrating the entire symbiote family. And now the rioter is actually fulfilling the spring and autumn dream of God. Venom is simply incredible. In fact, it's no wonder that Venom is difficult to understand. The current riot, in a strict sense, is actually a combination of the two personalities of the riot and Drake, and it has also been affected by the dark book of God, and it has become different from the past. So much the same. After all, 
no matter who it is, once the desire in the heart is infinitely enlarged, it will be like a person. After the riot and Drake's desires were infinitely amplified, they attempted to use absolute power to control everything in order to build the most ideal and beautiful country in their hearts. And what is the representative of absolute power? No doubt. One word. God. Venom. I'm afraid you don't know yet, in the extremely ancient era of our symbiote family, there is actually a god, and his name, just like my new name for you, Nar, he slaughtered the ancient the gods created our symbiotic family, but, he just uses us as tools. The whole body of the riot exudes an extremely dark aura, these are all the knowledge told to me by the divine book of wisdom. As more and more so-called perfect symbiotes became stronger and devoured human souls, they returned to venom one by one, and the riotous brow gradually lit up the bright red mark that belonged to the dark latitude. He was obviously its casting some kind of mysterious and forbidden spell. A strong, evil, and incomparably mysterious magical aura spread out from his body. Venom is bad to see. I want to get rid of the symbiotes that are densely crawling over my body, and attack the riot. But at this moment, scarlet light radiated from the riot's eyes, and he glanced at the venom, and the venom instantly felt that his consciousness was shocked. At this moment, his thinking seemed to have traveled through time and space for an unknown number of years. Venom sees. In the boundless universe, on top of a ruined planet, the stars have vanished, and darkness is shrouded, and what brings the darkness is a super 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 tall giant with a body like a planet's file size. That's, the gods, an ancient god group that is said to have existed long before the universe was born. Under the gaze of the gods, you can see that it is an extremely small figure, which seems to be a man. It looks like it can be blown away in one breath. But all of a sudden, the tiny man figure raised his hand first, and a black sword condensed by the symbiote slashed at the head of the god of the gods. This scene looked so ridiculous, it was even worse than a cockroach shaking a tree. Powerless a hundred times. But at this moment, pissed, one sound, the head of the god is cut off. In the endless long years to come, the head of this god floated in the universe, and gradually gathered groups of inhabitants of the universe of various races, they called it, the land of ignorance. However, the god slayer who cut off the head of the god with the sword of the symbiotic body disappeared into the dust of the universe, and even a complete name was not left in the future generations, even some elders of the universe with eternal life. We can only figure out the name of that existence from various versions of the legend, Narzaza. Um, because the latter two strange pronunciations may be suffixes of modal particles in some ethnic languages, and they sound not domineering enough, in the end, the name of the god of symbiotes was collectively referred to as Roar and became Nar. This scene in my mind disappeared in an instant, but the shock it brought to Venom was unparalleled. Does the god of symbiosis really exist? The god of symbiotes definitely exists, but the old gods have long since perished. This world, our symbiote family, needs the birth of a new god. And the name of the new god will be called, Riot. At the moment of the riot, the whole body exploded directly. Just like he possessed Caecilius before. It was actually directly attached to the body of the venom. Countless dark energies began to crawl into the body of the venom, and gradually condensed into energy crystals on the surface of the venom, covering the venom as much as possible. At first glance, it seemed like a huge amount of cocoon. Venom, this moment, but did not resist. He seemed to be completely immersed in the posture of the symbiosis god, cutting off the head of the god, and for some reason, in the perception of his consciousness, it was as if he could perceive the existence of that god. He was by his side, and not far away. Just that moment. In the dark, he seemed to have a feeling of dreaming back to the past, an inexplicable familiarity that flickered like stars in his consciousness, and even made his consciousness seem disordered for a while. Venom, what happened to you, Venom? Hey, old Venom, why is your consciousness getting weaker and weaker, I don't seem to be able to sense it. You, you are not going to die. Although Eddie and Little Venom can faintly sense Venom's consciousness. But the dialogue between Riot and Venom could not be heard. At the moment promised felt that the consciousness of the venom became faint, and suddenly became very worried. Especially Eddie. Especially if venom gets cold at this critical moment, how can he get out? At the moment he missed Aunt Ancient One very much. I really want to call Ancient One for help. It's just that I don't know what's going on outside at the moment. Ancient One feels like he hasn't made a sound for a long time. 
shouldn't he be thrown into the belly of venom as a tool and never mind? Tisk tisk, the venom guy's consciousness really only has residue left. The reason why he can be awakened by you is just like a reflection of light. It lasts for a long time. I was worried about it before. Suddenly, there was a riot in the ears of Eddie and Little Venom. Eddie's heart skipped a beat. He raised his head and looked in the direction of the sound. It was seen that accompanied by a burst of dark energy, the riot condensed into the shape of nothingness in the poisonous liquid. He looked at Eddie and Little Venom gloomily, his scarlet eyes gradually bent into a dangerous shape. Humph, it's the two of you who are sabotaging my plan, aren't you? Especially you, Venom Ovipositor number 7, I cultivated you, but I didn't let you continue to be parasitic on those same symbiotes like the previous inferior symbiotes. It's on filthy human beings. You've let me down. Get out of me. Get out of this weak and dirty human body. Talking. The idea of rioting moved. Swish. Immediately, the dark energy gathered and turned into a huge palm full of sharp claws, which suddenly grabbed Eddie's throat and grabbed it like a chicken in his hand. The power is so great that no matter how hard Eddie struggles, he can't break free. A strong suffocation gradually spread in his throat. What the hell is this guy, like a ghost, but surprisingly powerful? Am I going to die like this? The riot at the moment is naturally not something that a player like Eddie can compare even if there is a small venom possessed. At best, it is similar to the riots in the normal state. And the current riot is Dormammu's spokesperson, and the two are no longer in the same dimension in terms of strength. HMPH, riot, do you really think I can't do it? But at this moment, a rumbling voice suddenly sounded. It is venom, even more so, at this moment, a phantom of venom condensed and appeared in front of the riot. It was as if was in the same ghost-like form as the riot. It just looks a little defective, and the whole body is covered with a dilapidated color, just like Dr. Dora and the others. When the venom appeared, he raised his big hand, clenched it into a fist, and slammed it into the face of the rioters. Boom, because they are both in ghost-like form. Venom's punch hit the rioters' face firmly. Straight to the riots to fly out. However, Venom's figure became more and more blurred because of this, and it even became a little vague. Seeing that he was finally saved, Eddie couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief, but as soon as he saw the appearance of Venom, he knew that another heart was in his throat. Ah, that Venom, are you okay? Shut up. Venom glared at Eddie unceremoniously, and immediately said, let little Venom talk to me. E-M-M-M, -M -M, okay. Eddie was a little bit pained. Hey. Anyway, I have my share in waking you up, so why is there such a big difference in treatment? Definitely this is not the time to be entangled in this, Eddie hurriedly went offline and let little Venom's consciousness go online. Old Venom, are you alright? You don't seem right, you. I feel your breath. Seeing that Venom seemed to be about to dissipate, little Venom suddenly looked like a child, oh no, he was actually a child, and couldn't help but burst into tears dbaf. Although he didn't say much, and the communication time was short, in Little Venom's perception, the Venom in front of him was really as close as his father. It's okay, that's definitely fake, kid, I don't know what experiment the riot did on me, it not only turned my body into a monster, but also turned my consciousness into this ghost-like appearance, but in at the end of the disappearance of death, I can still see you, which is my blessing. Venom with his nihilistic hand. He stroked Little Venom's cheek. However, it was found that it could not be touched at all. He smiled wryly. This can be considered my atonement. No matter what, although I have retained your genes, it is still considered that I killed your human mother, otherwise, if you were born normally, it should be a vain fat human child, right? Quote dot 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 quote. Little Venom was shocked when he heard the words. Suddenly, he seemed to recall that he once seemed to be an immature baby. Although he should not have this memory, for some reason, he suddenly had it. Tears in both eyes suddenly fell down. Drips on Venom's void hands. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha, it's funny, it's so funny, Venom, Venom, you just reminded me of the first time I used you for an experiment. Suddenly, the voice of riotous laughter came over, the symbiote that came to the earth, besides you and me, there are two other companions, do you know why I chose you for the experiment in the end? When the human mother was placed on the experimental bench, I put all three of you into the woman's body. 
I actually wanted to compete with the three of you, which one is the strongest and which is most capable of my transformation. After all, the head of a human baby is the most perfect food for our symbiote. I want to raise you like a GU. I thought you would be the first to fail, but where did you think that when the other two companions were salivating at the baby, do you know what you said? You actually said, this human baby is so cute, you it seems to protect him, to protect such a life that has not yet come to this world. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ridiculous, look how ridiculous this is. You are too naive Venom, we are symbiotes, not humans, we have no conscience, kindness. But, Riot narrowed his eyes and said extremely mockingly. It is precisely because you are similar to humans in this aspect that I made you the ultimate test subject, but I would like to see. You who have compassion for humans, kill with your own hands what you want to protect. What kind of expression did you look like when you were a partner? Did your instinct overcome your poor conscience, or did you still lose to your desire in the end? In the end, you really didn't disappoint me, Venom, you successfully helped me completed the most perfect experimental transformation. You shut up, Venom roared violently at the riot. However, the riots did not eat this set at all, he sneered and said. Venom, after all, you can't save anything. Now, I will not only kill this human being in front of you, but also completely absorb Venom's egg body number 7 and integrate it into this body. In the body, there is the most perfect combination of human and symbiont genes, oh yes, and the soul of that baby, eating it, it should be very nourishing. During the speech, the riot did not have the slightest hesitation. Get started, he has now controlled 90% of this body, and Venom's consciousness, which is just a ruined ghost after his failed transformation, is about to dissipate, and it is difficult to play any role. He can almost do whatever he wants. But at this time, Venom also sneered, the riot, the person I want to protect, you can never touch a single hair. The moment you integrate into this body, I can probably feel that in your heart, there seems to be someone who is extremely afraid. And now, that man, I'm here for you. What? Hearing the riot, he was shocked. Venom said. He immediately thought of Superman. Could it be that Superman is starting to shoot at him? Blame Venom and those two little beasts for dragging him on for so long. However, when the riot was carefully sensed outside, he found that the Superman seemed to be watching him as if he was watching a play. Although it seemed very uncomfortable, he felt as if he was being watched as a monkey show, but at least, Superman, he didn't do it. Grass, Venom, your grandson dare to lie to me. The riot was instantly furious. And Venom took advantage of this opportunity, and immediately said to Eddie and the little Venom possessed by Eddie. The two of you quickly join forces, don't have the slightest hesitation, and rush down with one will. This is the best time to leave my body, I feel it is coming. What? Eddie's surprise element. Downward, feeling coming. However, before he could hesitate, a sense of wriggling suddenly surged up from the surroundings, and it was a downward momentum that swept wildly. Eddie hadn't reacted much yet, and the next moment he was swept into a deep black hole by an overwhelming force. Finally, boo, he came out. It's just that the way he came out has quite a bit of flavor, and he even thumped and fell into the green chemical pool again in a parabolic way. This seems to be his second entry into the palace. Um, Lin Yu couldn't help laughing when he watched Eddie spew out from under the venom and the synthetic symbiote, directly accompanied by a pool of strange substances. I have to say, this is really a show to him. And Eddie is really unlucky. If the average person is as unlucky as him, it is estimated that he has already GG, but this guy is still alive to this day, and the protagonist Halo is really powerful. After all, in the normal plot, the protagonist can never die, and this copy of the Life Foundation is also the home of the deadly Asgardian, so it has to be a little bit of face for the protagonist. But then again, is this what the riots have always been thinking about becoming a god? Lin Yu snapped his fingers. Smash Valudo. Suddenly time stopped at this moment. He looked at the synthesis symbiosis that was wrapped in a large amount of dark energy crystals and formed a huge cocoon. He could clearly perceive that the main soul core had been transferred, and the consciousness of the venom had only been left. The last 1%, and the riots became the real master of this body, the person. And combined with the dark energy and the human soul essence brought by the return of the tens of thousands of symbiotes, something extremely bizarre, metamorphosis is taking place. In the dark, within time and space, 
Lin Yu could feel a strange force, like starlight, converging little by little on the riot, and it was not affected by the time stop very much. Even if Lin Yu used the world double to stop time, the force still remained. It came from the depths of time and space. It's just that the original invisible has no quality, and it has changed in an instant, and it has become something that can be captured and perceived by Lin Yu. This power, it feels like, it comes from the past of the timeline. By the way, the Book of the Dark Gods seems to have recorded an ancient secret method of summoning gods, using rich energy and a lot of souls will power to awaken the power of past gods from ancient time and space, and this secret method was used in ancient times. It is the devil Sithorn, the author of the Dark Book of the Gods, who asked believers to summon him specifically. But obviously the riot has improved this mysterious method. He is not really calling a god, but trying to awaken the fragments of the power of the ancient gods in the past time and space, and then condense them on him, so that he can become a god. I have to say, the riot is really a little genius. After possessing the mind of Dr. Drake, he was able to study such interesting things in the Dark God book. However, for me, it is of no use at all. Think carefully. Lin Yu felt that he was useless to himself, and was a little disappointed. But at this moment, the sound of the system suddenly rang. Ding! It is detected that a mysterious time-space magic pattern is opened. The time-space magic pattern can lead to a specific scene in the past timeline, and you can sign in there. Do you want to enter and sign in there? Oh, can there be such a good thing? As the sound of the system fell, Lin Yu saw a strange magic pattern open in the void above his head, which looked like a quantum channel in Avengers Alliance 4. He didn't have the slightest hesitation. Directly. Yes, sign in. Swish. The voice just fell. Lin Yu was directly teleported into the magic pattern of time and space. At the same time, he opened his eyes and saw a very eye-catching scene. In the boundless space, on a ruined planet, a super super giant so huge that it could cover the entire planet appeared above his head. That, it is indeed a god. God group. The huge amounts of Tianxian group were so eye-catching that even Lin Yu didn't notice that as he entered the time-space magic pattern, a faint light was also inhaled. Unlucky, 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 unlucky. The head popped out of the chemical pool and spit out a mouthful of green water, Eddie was literally a black line on his face. Maid, what is this all about? Fortunately, this green chemical pool looks like a cesspool, and it exudes a strange atmosphere. It is even deadly to humans, but it contains nutrients that are beneficial to the symbiote. There is nothing wrong with him being protected by a small poison body in a battle suit. Only, as he climbed out of the pool, he looked around. Then, Eddie was stunned. What's the situation? Where is this place? Is this place, or the Life Foundation Corporation? The entire Life Foundation company, including the surrounding uninhabited land, seems to have been turned into an independent space of different latitudes by Lin Yu, and the natural environment is very different. In addition to the previous battles, Ghost Rider and Ancient One, Ghost Rider and Lin Yu, Lin Yu and Caecilius. Although the battles related to Lin Yu were basically settled for him in a few moments. However, he is Superman. Just a few moves can almost destroy the building of the Life Foundation Company. What's more, he threw Caecilius like a sack. So at this moment, the entire building of the Life Foundation Company looks dilapidated. Even the original normal space structure was distorted under the influence of Caecilius magic. For example, the ceiling was on the top and the ground was on the bottom. Now the ceiling is on the left, the ground is suspended, and structures such as stairs and windows are located on the left side. On top of his head, he has completely ignored the physical rules. If Newton saw this scene, he would jump up the coffin board and breathe out a fragrant breath, indicating that he was offended. In addition, a dark red color shrouded the entire space. It gives people a sense of horror, absurdity, and eerie surreal magic. I'd better get out of this ghost place as soon as possible. Eddie's first thought was to get out of this ghost place quickly. His figure moved. Swish. I found a nearby window on my head and jumped out. As a result, when he went out, he was extremely stunned to find that he couldn't leave at all. Outside the Life Foundation Company building, there is only a very limited piece of no man's land, and at the edge, the space seems to have become a mirror blocked around. Eddie could only see himself reflected in the mirror and the dilapidated Life Foundation Company building behind him, shrouded in a dark red. 
He wanted to move forward, but he found that no matter how fast or crazy he ran, he seemed to be standing still. Although the space in front does not have a sense of substance, it will bump him, but he will always be like looking in a mirror, and he can only go to the place where he was originally in the mirror. He is completely trapped. Grass. What the hell? When I was in the poisonous liquid, what happened outside? Eddie couldn't help but despair, right? Ancient One Magician. This should be some kind of weird magic method, right? Ancient One Magician didn't she say she was Sorcerer Supreme? She can definitely solve it. Eddie hurried back to find Ancient One. But at this time, boom, a deafening roar suddenly exploded. Just above the entire Life Foundation company, an incomparably huge hand, as if it was slowly lifted from the abyss of hell, gradually appeared in Eddie's pupils. What kind of hand is this? No one can describe it. It is not only huge, but also has a solemn, solemn and stalwart feeling. If you look closely, you can see that this hand seems to be engraved with complicated and complicated textures, showing a dark silver light. The texture looks like the armor of ancient soldiers. The fingers are very slender and the tips are pitch black ink's claws give people a feeling of being both evil and divine. When it appeared, it seemed that the entire time and space were shaken, and even from the depths of the distant time and space gap, the prayers and praises of the spirits were faintly heard, and they continued to sound in the surrounding void. This moment, Eddie's mind seemed to freeze. What is that? What kind of hand is that? If I had to use one word to describe it, then maybe there was only one word. God, Eddie, Eddie, I don't know why, I'm so scared all of a sudden, I can't perceive old Venom anymore, and rioting him. Little Venom's voice sounded in Eddie's mind. This little Venom that has always been very daring. At this moment, it was the first time that he showed fear. Rioting him, makes me feel very terrifying. He is no longer a symbiote. He is a god, ruling our symbiote's nightmare. Eddie didn't know what to say for a while. Not only Little Venom is afraid. He is so scared too. What should I do now? The surrounding space has been blocked, he can't escape at all, and there is the most terrifying monster from the beginning to the present, is it that God wants to kill him? Ha 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 ha, God, I have finally become a God, the real, the God of symbiotes. The sound of riotous laughter can be said to be resounding through the sky at this moment. If you look inside the Life Foundation Company, you can see that with the cocoon-like dark energy crystals peeling off and shattering like an onion, the originally huge and ugly body of the Synthesis symbiote has now become it seems completely different from before. Originally a monster. In this moment, metamorphosis has evolved into a human form. And the peeled dark energy crystals did not disappear, but further condensed and concentrated, turning into pitch black and bright armor attached to its body, and the stripes of the symbiote seemed to be twisted, gradually forming a dark silver. The strange texture, looking like an ancient and complicated incantation, actually gave people an indescribable sense of holiness. And look up, can be seen. At the moment, the riot at the moment seems to be no longer a ferocious, classic symbiont face full of violent aesthetics, but a face that looks like a real human. And also has a long crystal silver hair. Handsome. Handsome. Sacred. This is the first impression of this image. It looks a bit like Dr. Drake, and has a caecilius feeling, but if you look closely, you can see all kinds of similarities with other people's faces, as if the most advantageous parts of a face are all gathered together. Good-looking is good-looking, handsome is handsome and unusual, but it gives people a very unreal and unnatural feeling. However, it is clear that the riot is very satisfied with the appearance of himself at the moment. There was a smug and excited smile on the corner of his mouth. Look, he looked at Eddie, who was running away in a hurry, but had no way to escape. Definitely, he's not stupid, Eddie is just a small role, his main focus is still going to be on Superman, now he has become the real god of symbiotes, he has enough confidence to defeat Superman, even kill him Superman. But just when the riot looked at where Lin Yu was originally. Cannot help but stun. Ha, huh, where's Superman? Chapter 71. Originally, Superman, who seemed to be hanging up all the time, didn't know where to go at the moment, as if he had suddenly disappeared out of thin air, and his breath did not exist in the entire different latitude space. This made the riots panic and instantly became extremely vigilant. Could it be that Superman wants to sneak attack? Riot knows that Superman is extremely moody, and has no idea what the other party is thinking. It may have been hung up a while ago. 
he might be killed suddenly in the next moment. So he seems to have been working on Venom, competing for the body, and crushing the weak human ant by the way. In fact, more than 90% of his attention has been focused on Superman. I just neglected the moment Metamorphosis became a god. But only for a few moments. Where did you know about Superman, he actually said he was gone. Wait a minute, maybe Superman saw that I was too powerful to become the real god of symbiotes, so he changed his offensive strategy, no longer was confrontational, but planned to play the dark side. Suddenly Riot thought about it in his heart and thought of a possibility. And thinking about it like this, his heart suddenly calmed down. He even sneered. Hee hee, Superman, you still have moments of fear. A smug look gradually appeared in the eyes of the rioters. The previous Superman's performance was really invincible, but now he can finally be regarded as an opponent by the other party, and the little, 923, dealt with it, and the riot immediately felt that he was really awesome. He almost inserted his waist and laughed loudly, as expected of me. However, the rioters didn't know that Lin Yu went to sign in temporarily, and never looked at him as an opponent from the beginning to the end. The riot is just a battle of wits and courage with the air. Waited a while. Superman never showed up at all. It was as if the world had really evaporated. This puzzled the rioters. Doubts are definitely doubts, and the riots still hold their breath and watch out for sneak attacks that may come at any time. After all, he has been watching Superman's perversion from beginning to end. The ghost knows what means the other party has prepared to deal with him, and he has enough patience to wait for Superman's surprise attack. But before that, I have to kill that unsightly human, otherwise it will be really annoying to stay in my field of vision all the time. A cold light flashed in the eyes of the rioters, looking at Eddie who was already stunned not far away, and sneered cruelly. Venom, Venom, you are protecting such worthless ants until your death. Apart from being ridiculous, what do you have left? The symbiont organization squirmed behind, accompanied by a violent surge of dark energy. Wow, suddenly a pair of huge amounts of black wings spread out from behind him. It was just a slight fanning, and a terrifying whirlwind that almost blew people's heads off. Immediately following the riot, entire huge amounts of body volleyed into the air. Like a hill, almost covering half of the sky, it slowly pressed towards Eddie who was not far away. If Lin Yu was here, he would definitely laugh and complain when he saw the riot. This guy looks like the ultimate vampire monster in Digimon. But how could Eddie laugh? He was about to cry. Almost even peeing. Seeing the riot's giant body like a god and a demon slowly approaching, he began to tremble uncontrollably, trembling uncontrollably, and the whole person froze in place, that kind of instinct, a huge sense of oppression from the biological and soul level, has made him unable to move even a trace. Am I going to die? Just like that, like an ant, was it trampled to death? Eddie couldn't stop thinking. I can't stop thinking about how it all started. He was first tricked by the Life Foundation, lost his job and house, and even dumped him by his girlfriend who was talking about marriage. Then when he was depressed, he got Dr. Dora's help, saying that he wanted to help him collect evidence of the Life Foundation's crime and expose the ugly crime of the Life Foundation's human experiments. I thought it was time to turn around. However, this is where the real nightmare begins. Ah, ha ha, I have to say, his life is really a failure. He is a complete loser, a jerk, a pitiful fool who begged God to give him a little alms, but only got spurned and ridiculed. Not even the final death deserves the least decency. He was really unwilling, really not happy at all. But, unwilling, what's the use? He is a weak man, a jerk, a loser forever and ever. He couldn't have those ridiculous righteous hearts at all in the first place. He wanted to use interviews to expose the ugly crimes of the Life Foundation's human experiments. Your whole life is involved. Otherwise, he should still be a gold medal reporter now, with a bumper career in love, and living an enviable and happy life, right? Eddie, Eddie. In an instant, Eddie's mind almost ran into the lantern of life. Feeling that the riot was getting closer and closer to him, until it was directly above his head, the oppressive aura of despair seemed to have made him give up hope of life. There is only endless regret and despair left in my heart. Eddie, Eddie, wake up. Little Venom's voice reverberated desperately in Eddie's head. Eddie, however, didn't seem to hear at all. He just shivered. Like an ant seeing a giant. 
lost all will to resist and survive. And caught in the lantern of life, he has already decided that he is certain to die. The little venom is just about to die. Eddie, you, you idiot, you idiot, as your boss, I order you to wake me up immediately. Although the little venom can control Eddie's body. But when the host has completely lost hope of life, and his heart is full of despair, for him, it is like the original habitat has been completely swallowed by darkness, which will make him feel extremely uncomfortable. At the moment Eddie's inner despair had affected him badly. Can't even maintain battle suit form. Little Venom could only gather his head from Eddie's shoulders, and screamed wildly in Eddie's ear. It even turned a group of symbiotes into an extremely huge slap. Snapped. It slapped Eddie in the face at once. This time finally wakes up Eddie. However, even if he woke up, Eddie's will to survive was weak. He looked at the desperate riot above his head, and then looked at the head of the little venom on his shoulders, and said with a miserable smile. Forget it, just let me die. It's useless to resist and fight. How can mortals fight against gods? There is no way to escape, and aren't you afraid? You should pack up and leave me quickly. The body, in the face of the same symbiote, as long as you beg a little, the other party should let you go. Quote dot 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 quote. Little Venom couldn't help but be silent. That's right. How can mortals fight against gods? Eddie is just an ordinary person, and he is just a very ordinary symbiote. The riots after becoming a god are on the level of Mephista in the universe. Killing them and playing with them is as simple as eating and drinking. But Eddie, Little Venom clenched his teeth sharply, even if it is death, even if it is approaching the last moment of life, Old Venom has never given up hope. He fought against the riots until the last moment, and successfully protected us, however. Are we going to use the life he has protected, humiliated, inactive, killed by the riots, and even bow down to the riots, begging for the last bit of life without the slightest dignity? Sorry, little Venom gradually withdrew from Eddie's body, with disappointment in his eyes, I can't do it. Quote dot 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 quote. Eddie watched little Venom leave his body. It turned into that dark symbiosis again, just like the first time they met, and for some reason, he felt as if he had lost something in his heart. Hee hee, are the two of you doing a life and death drama? Tisk tisk tisk, it's really touching, if you go to make a heartless sadomasochistic movie about humans and symbiotes, you will definitely earn a lot of tears from the audience. Quote. The sound of rioting rumbled from the sky. He looked at the little venom on the ground and laughed without any cover, with disdain in his eyes. But the little thing, what the human said is not bad, after all, you are also a symbiote, if you begged me in a humble and pitiful way, maybe I would really consider not killing you, not eating you, and even cultivating it well. You, let you become the leader of the symbiote clan, after all, you can be regarded as an orthodox seedling left by the venom guy, how can I not take good care of you? Riots can aggravate the word, caring. Obviously. What he said in his mouth and what he thought in his heart were definitely not the same meaning. You idiot, shut up for Lao Tzu, who wants your love, thank you. Little Venom turned his head abruptly and directly gave the riot a Zon Sanlian. The riot was stunned. I thought I heard it wrong. How dare this ant dare to curse God? Eddie was stunned on the spot. What the hell, Little Venom, are you so fierce? Hee <laughs> hee, Eddie, didn't you say that mortals can't fight gods at all? Little Venom's body squirmed for a while, and the next moment, it gradually condensed into a shape without relying on any host. And soon, this form condensed to complete. In front of Eddie, he turned into a thin boy. He actually evolved into a symbiont complete body that can independently form a body without swallowing the host. And it looks like this. Eddie's eyes widened, and he recognized it, exactly what he looked like when he was a boy. At that time, he was in high spirits, and aspired to be the greatest reporter in the world, revealing all the truth hidden by the sinners. And now he, however, I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to stand shoulder to shoulder with gods as a mortal. Even if it's death, I'd rather die standing up than live on my knees. This is what the old Venom taught me. What's more? Little Venom turned around and gave Eddie a smile, I am your boss, as the boss, I said, I will cover you, Eddie. Eddie's pupils shrank. In his pupils, Little Venom's small body, in front of the huge amounts of body size of the riot, looked so small and powerless. However, Little Venom stood in front of him without hesitation. It gave him a small protective zone. 
at the moment when the voice fell suddenly jumped towards the riot in midair time seems to be slowing down at this moment the space seems to be frozen at this moment eddie didn't wake up suddenly until at the moment however it was too late watching the little venom rush towards the riot he was caught by the riot and was directly caught in the palm of his hand the riot was thrown into the mouth at once and swallowed eddie was completely devastated tears welled up in his eyes his voice had become hoarse, and his heart seemed to be torn apart in pain. Although Little Venom is the symbiote with the best genes after the improvement, it is still limited to the category of symbiotes, but how can it beat the riots that have become the god of symbiotes? Riots are almost never hit. He grabbed it easily and swallowed it decisively. After all, mosquitoes are meat no matter how small they are. Having such a symbiont with good genes in his stomach and integrating it into his body can also slightly increase his strength. Hee <laughs> hee, it's really stupid, it's really carved out of a mold, and it's as stupid as the Venom guy. The rioters, faces were full of mockery. After swallowing the small Venom, he sneered and looked at Eddie, who had collapsed in despair, but he did not trample the ant to death all at once, but said with a little playfulness. Your name is Eddie Bullock, isn't it? Well, although it's easy for me to kill you, but if you kneel before me sincerely and beg me to spare you, I may be so merciful that I will spare you a piece of it. Humble dog life, definitely, from now on, you have to recognize me as master, and you have to sell your soul to me. Originally, the riot definitely wanted to trample this garbage to death. Such a weak human being. Even if it is eaten by him, it is still junk food, and it will only make him nauseous. But well, after all, this guy is a human being protected by the father and son of Venom and Little Venom. Isn't Venom trying desperately to protect this human? So, he took this human being as his lackey, driving him every day, torturing him, and making his life worse than death. This will make him happy. Eddie fell silent for a moment. If it was before, Riot had promised him like this, even if he really sold his soul, he would still beg for that ray of hope, he really, didn't want to die here like this. But now, Eddie's fist clenched slightly, the voice of Little Venom still echoed in my mind. I'm your boss, and as boss, as I said, I'll cover you, Eddie. I used to really think I had nothing. Eddie didn't answer the riot's words, but seemed to be talking to himself, talking to something, tears dripping down drop by drop, I lost the career I was proud of, and the house I bought with half my life savings, he also lost his girlfriend who was about to get married. Really, I feel that I have nothing, my whole being is like an empty shell, and I live in this world. However, I didn't realize until just now that I have never had nothing, I still have my boss, I my partner, my humble dignity and justice, but I have lost all of them. Now I really have nothing. Eddie slowly raised his head, and for the first time, with great courage, looked directly at the riot's terrifying scarlet eyes. His body is still trembling, that is the instinctive fear of facing high-level creatures. But at least, he has been able to face this fear. I'm just a jerk, the most failed person in the world, but at least. Eddie clenched his fist sharply, and he roared hysterically at the riot, I still have a life. This life was given to me by Little Venom, the last thing I have. This time, I will not give up the hope of life again, but I will not beg you, Riot, I will seek the hope of this life by myself. Even if I die in the end, I will stand to die and fight you to the death. Now, I officially respond to your question just now. Eddie stretched out his hand and raised his middle finger directly at the Riot, my answer is, you. With these roars, Eddie felt like his entire lung was about to be drained. Adrenaline rush all over. I don't know if I'm scared or too excited. The heart and the body is about to burst directly out. At the same time he did not have the slightest hesitation. Swish, he turned his head sharply, and fled away from the riot at a speed that almost surpassed the 100-meter sprint. The speed was so fast that it was beyond the limit of human beings. And the riot watched Eddie's repeated operations. And the back that slipped away at the end. Stunned. Grass. Is this guy funny? HMPH. Eddie Bullock, I thought you could learn to be smarter, but I still overestimated you. Since you're courting death, I'll let you know what the despair of death is. The huge black wings behind the riot fluttered slightly. Wow, the wind blows up. He only moved half a step, and then directly arrived in front of Eddie. There was no way. The difference in size was there. 
No matter how fast Eddie ran, there was a huge building that was as high as a whole building in the riot. In front of the body, it was still as slow as an ant crawling. The riots grabbed hands, huge amounts of shadows instantly enveloped Eddie. There is absolutely no escape. But at this moment, Eddie didn't know what medicine he took, and his reaction ability soared, and he finally slipped through the fingers of the riot. And in the moment of slipping away, Eddie turned around without hesitation and walked towards the dilapidated building of the Life Foundation Company. He knew that no matter how much he escaped, he would still not be able to escape the clutches of the riots. He was just an ordinary person, especially after losing the battle suit transformed by the little venom, he was even more vulnerable like Tofu, and the riots touched him a little bit, he will die immediately. Therefore, it is useless to escape, only struggling to delay for a moment. If you really want to live. Now, there is only one way. That is, help. Yes, ask for help from the strong, the strong who can truly fight against the riots. There doesn't seem to be anyone around here, but in the Life Foundation Company building, there should still be people, including the Ancient One magician, and even. Eddie's eyes gleamed for survival, that man. The powerful, perverted man I met when I first soul astral. The man who made his soul tremble just by looking at him, Eddie didn't know who he was. He had thought that the other party might be Superman. However, Superman's image of Wei Guangzhong in the report was not quite the same as that man, which made him a little suspicious. But no matter who it is. At this moment, Eddie had a confidence in his heart that he did not know where it came from. He felt that only, and only that man, could deal with or even defeat the riot. Due to the rush of adrenaline, Eddie didn't feel much fatigue under such intense extreme running. He quickly stepped into the building of the Life Foundation Company and used the complex structure in the building to hide his figure, and start looking for people. He knew that even this hope was very slim. After all, if someone was really there, it would have already appeared, right? But even if there is only a glimmer of hope, he won't give up either. He must, e, do your best to save your life. He no longer wanted to kneel and beg for death, even if he died, he must resist to the end, standing dead. Hee <laughs> hee, Eddie Bullock, your stupidity really set the lower limit of what I know about you once again. Seeing that Eddie actually ran into the Life Foundation building, the rioters couldn't help but ridicule, thinking that they would be fine if they hid inside. Not to mention that he could easily sense Eddie's breath of life. Even if he hides in the building, he can accurately locate the opponent's position. No more, he can also directly collapse the whole building. Once the entire building collapses, the people inside can be said to be completely bloodshed, and there is no possibility of surviving at all. Eddie is simply asking for his own death. But the riots are understandable. After all, when faced with death and despair, people will always panic. Forget it, I'm already bored, such a weak ant can't bring me any fun, it's boring. Suddenly, Riot felt like he could feel Superman's state of mind. Did the previous Superman feel so bored and boring when facing Courageous? Now, only Superman, defeating and killing Superman can give me fun. But what the hell is this Superman doing, and why hasn't it come out until now? Thinking of the riot here, he couldn't help but get more impatient, and he frowned, could it be that the Superman guy is cowardly and slipped? The longer they waited, the more the rioters could not help but suspect that the Superman had just slipped away, not a sneak attack. He's going to go straight to Superman. If you wait like this, if Superman really slips away, then it will be funny. After so long, he finally became the real god of symbiotes. If he didn't kill that Superman first, then kill him, and finally eat that guy as a celebratory snack, then he would really be a thousands or not happy. Eddie Bullock, today is your lucky day. I've decided to kill you now, so you don't have to fight for nothing. The voice just fell. Boom. Riot raised his hand. Directly grabbed from the inside of the building of the Life Foundation Company. And Eddie heard a rumbling sound, and the whole building shook violently, followed by a clause that seemed to stick out from hell and suddenly appeared in front of him and grabbed him. Eddie is in a hurry. He tried his best to dodge, maybe today was really his lucky day, but he was able to escape the riot again. It's just that although Eddie dodged this time, he was pinned down by a column that collapsed beside him, and the severe pain made him scream in agony. He desperately wanted to pull his foot out. But, until his feet were numb, he couldn't take out, 
his feet had been pressed tightly and stuck inside. Why is this? Is this the end of it? Eddie slammed his fist to the ground. Silky blood, oozing from between his fist bones. He is not happy. He is not happy. He he, Eddie Bullock, you run, aren't you very good at running? The riotous eyes looked from the outside of the building to Eddie whose feet were being pinched inside, and a sinister smile appeared on the corners of his mouth, oh. My leg is broken, tisk tisk, it's really pitiful and fragile, there's no way, human beings are so weak. For the sake of you being so pitiful, I will slowly kill you little by little, I hope the expression of despair and pain on your face can make me feel wonderful enough. Riot raised his finger. Immediately, dense symbiont tissues penetrated from his fingertips and gradually climbed Eddie's body like vines. It slowly penetrated from his mouth, ears, nostrils, and even his eyes. However, Eddie did not show the expression of despair and pain as in the riot. He stared at the riot, his body trembling involuntarily, while roaring. No, I'm not in despair, I have one last hope. Oh, hope, what hope? Riot asked with a sneer. My hope is, Eddie took a deep breath, and then, with all his last remaining lung capacity, he shouted frantically towards the surroundings. Is there anyone, is there anyone to save me? Even if it's just one, even if it's just to show me hope, I really hope, there is a superhero to save me. This moment, the air seemed silent, Eddie's voice echoed constantly in the shattered building. But no voice answered him. The riot was that he didn't know what to say for a moment, he thought what Eddie's last hope was, and the result, that's all. Attempting to have a superhero to save him. Ha ha. Ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. The existence of your fellow is simply an insult to my IQ, you should die quickly. The riot didn't intend to torture the already stupid poor fool. With a big hand, Eddie would be slapped to death like a fly, giving this guy a treat. But at this moment, a voice suddenly sounded, which made the riot shake violently. Oh, is someone calling his righteous superhero buddy in roar? Superman, this sound of riot is simply too familiar, so familiar that it has been deeply imprinted into his soul. He looked up suddenly. I saw that Superman had appeared above his head at an unknown time. The tight-fitting dark blue battle suit outlines his perfect muscle lines, and the crimson cape swaying in the wind. In the atmosphere filled with despair and hell, Superman appeared like a savior. And, invincible written all over the face. The riot subconsciously took a step back. Although he has been thinking about Superman all the time, he believes that after becoming the god of symbiotes, he already has the ability to defeat and kill Superman. But when I really saw Superman, he still felt a tremendous amount of pressure. It seems he is stronger. You will know more and more how unreachable and insurmountable the mountain of Superman is. No, these are my delusions. Riot gritted his teeth, cast aside his thoughts, and stared at Lin Yu, I've become a god. How can Superman compare to a god? I can definitely defeat Superman and kill him. But I thought so. For a while, he was stunned and did not dare to act in advance. The riot just froze in place. Lin Yu watched the riots with interest. What? This guy is the ultimate vampire monster in Cuz Digimon. Not bad. After becoming the god of symbiotes, the riots were really bad. At least it looks great. Lin Yu became interested immediately, and while watching the riot, he moved, sigh, and came to Eddie, whose throat was hoarse when he asked for help. Is it you, asking for help from superhero? Eddie raised his head slowly. His whole person's consciousness has become a little confused, and under the great pressure of death and pain, it is extremely difficult for him to maintain a minimum level of sobriety. At this moment, he raised his head and looked at Lin Yu in front of him. Looking at the familiar man in front of him, the man who once frightened him, but also carried his hope together. A time, very suddenly, Eddie burst into tears. This cry contains pain, contains extreme sadness, but also contains hope, contains ultimate liberation, he nodded frantically. Yes, yes, it's me asking for help from superhero. Please also help me, let me, live. He he, Superman, you and I are both supreme powerhouses. In the eyes of human beings as weak as ants, they are basically equivalent to existences like God. You suddenly appeared, you wouldn't really come to save people, you should be a superhero. Right, you are so powerful, but don't you think it's a bargain to save a worthless lose? Although the riot was a little reluctant to take the lead, 
but seeing that Superman seemed to be really here to save people, it was a little incredible. It even felt a little funny. Superman, that ruthless guy who kills people and is even more perverted than perverts actually saves people. And what is Superman's identity? What is the identity of Eddie Bullock that trash? To save such a useless and worthless jerk, this was originally a very cheap behavior, right? Lin Yu heard the riots. Suddenly a figure. When Eddie heard this, his pupils shrank and looked at Lin Yu in front of him in disbelief. Superman. Is he really Superman? Knowing that the other party is the legendary Superman, Eddie couldn't help but feel an unspeakable complex feeling in his heart, but at least he had guessed before, but it was not too shocking, but, the riot made his eyes a little bit, dim. Indeed, there is no value in saving him at all. He's just a jerk. Unlike Tony Stark, who is a billionaire, a tech genius, and someone who belongs to the top circle of mankind, Superman saves the other party and can be on the front page of the news instantly. And after saving him, it's like picking up a piece of trash and throwing it into the trash can, it's worthless, right? Looking at the stunned figure of Superman and the face buried in the shadows, Eddie felt that the distance between himself and Superman seemed to be getting farther and farther, and he couldn't help sighing inwardly. Ah, never mind, Superman can appear, bring him a glimmer of hope, and he is satisfied. As for whether to save him or not, even if he didn't save him, he wouldn't have the slightest complaint, because as the riots said, saving him has no value at all. The world needs heroes. Suddenly, Lin Yu spoke. I don't know if I told the riots already, so I just listened to him. Because almost all the time, there are desperate people like this who yearn for a hero to come. They are ordinary, they are weak, they are humble, they may have already lost their dignity in order to live, and they have no value at all. But, ask for help is never humble, nor does it involve dignity, there is no so-called boundary between mortals and gods, and there is no value measurement between supply and demand. It's very simple to ask for help, you need help, then I, will come to help you. Just wave, chi chi. Immediately, the dents clinging on Eddie's body, as his seven orifices infiltrated the symbiont tissue in his body, suddenly burned with blue hellfire, and disappeared in the twist. At the same time, the broken stone pillar pressing on Eddie's leg was gently grabbed by Lin Yu, like a plastic toy, and crushed into powder. Lin Yu turned around. Just at this moment, a gust of wind blew, blowing the red cloak behind him, revealing his tall and invincible back, behind that back, as if all the anxiety and panic in the whole world disappeared at this moment. Lin Yu watched the riot. With a smile, he said, After all, I'm Superman, but I'm also a hero of interest. Riot, how dare you question my actions? K.R. The riot stopped for a moment. Maid, what's going on with this Superman? He doesn't play cards according to the routine at all. You say you are a superhero, why can't I believe it? Humph. Superman, do whatever you want. You can't save this rubbish anyway, because you will all be killed by me soon. At this time, there was no hesitation in the riot, and it was finally time to make a move. Although he was shocked by Superman just now, he didn't act immediately. But it is also secretly accumulating strength to deliver the strongest blow. Right. The strongest blow. He won't force Lai Lai with Superman, and he will fight the so-called 300 rounds. He will unexpectedly use the strongest blow at the very beginning to kill Superman directly on the spot. Superman, meet death. Suddenly, the dark energy around the riot surged violently, and the surrounding dark energy density reached a critical point in an instant, making this blockade of the different dimensional space actually sound of cracking, and countless dense space cracks began to spread all over the place all around. Same time, from those cracks, as if communicating with the dark abyss, countless dark energies that were as black as ink were vented from there, and frantically poured into the riot. Even at this moment, all the symbiont tissues on riot began to swell, turning into extremely exaggerated, terrifying muscles full of explosive power, and on the surface of the muscles, a metal-like dark energy crystal armor spread. This makes his physique up again. The original black wings behind him spread out with a clatter, turning directly into six huge symbiont wings. The riot flies into the sky. Grab it with a big hand. Chi Chi. It seemed like a black electric light flickered in the void, and a large number of symbiotes in his hands condensed and condensed with dark energy, and finally, turned into a huge symbiote, surrounded by countless symbiotes and dark energy polymers. Sword. Follow. 
without any nonsense. With the most powerful extreme force, the riot went straight to Lin Yu. Oh, do you make a big move as soon as you come up? I like it. Lin Yu saw the blow. Immediately, his eyes lit up. Very much looking forward to it. He took a deep breath. A punch raised. Then, just when the huge and terrifying pitch black symbiote sword of the riot came to him with incomparably powerful power, Lin Yu's fist collided with the opponent's giant sword. In an instant, the world seems to have lost its voice. Time seemed to stand still. Eddie, who was behind Lin Yu, couldn't help but widen his eyes. In his pupils, he could see. At this moment, the whole world knew Oh How How seemed to burst into an extremely strong white light, engulfing everything, clack clack clack, the surrounding space was shattered inch by inch like a mirror, and the entire life foundation building was instantly turned into dust. Immediately after, boom, world, gone, that incomparably huge, as the riot of the god of symbiosis. Also gone, under Superman's punch, the opponent's seemingly terrifying figure was actually fragile like a piece of paper, and there was no piece of it that collapsed without even screaming. Eddie sucked in a breath of cold air, making him stupid. Bed, shit, just shocked my mom, I don't know how long it took. All wind dissipated, this piece of different dimensional space has been shattered by 99%, and it is only a little short of it, and it is about to collapse completely. Lin Yu's figure stopped in the void, the crimson cloak fluttered behind him, neat and tidy as if nothing had happened at all. Looking at the scene in front of him, the empty space that was left after the riot was exploded, Lin Yu was stunned for a moment, then looked at his fists, feeling his undamaged body. Immediately, he couldn't help it. Directly up to the sky and roared. Why did I blow it up all of a sudden? Ding. Congratulations to the host, you have completed the special plot scene. The Symbiote Nest Life Foundation has completed the rating and reached SSS, perfect. You have received the following SSS level rating rewards. The legendary special material. The activated fibers of the symbiote can be used to produce a series of items that the host wants, and can achieve inexhaustible effects through regenerative culture. Note, this thing is just a material, not a living body, will not form an independent symbiosis by itself. The legendary special strengthening medium. Dark pure crystal, which is formed by a large amount of dark energy condensed with Dormammu's will, and can be used to strengthen the corresponding role. The stronger and darker the initial ability value of the role, the higher the matching degree, and the better the strengthening effect. The legendary weapon. The outdated sword of the symbiote, a sword that was condensed by a large number of dark living beings in the void at the beginning of the universe, and it was also a weapon created by the god of the symbiote born in a certain universe. The god group defeated the seal, the sword lost its brilliance, and the dwarf king Eitri, who was sheltered by Asgard, may know how to restore the glory of this sword. You have acquired a rare mount, the dark symbiote dragon. You got the basic reward, 10 consecutive draws of guaranteed purple rare rewards. The surrounding space gradually annihilated. Under the flickering dark red light, one could see that pieces of space debris turned into particle streams and slowly dissipated in the darkness. Behind Lin Yu, Eddie's figure gradually disappeared as the space collapsed, and it seemed that he was automatically excluded from this already unstable space. Although it is said that under the magic of Lin Yu, an independent different dimensional space is formed, but its essence is derived from Lin Yu's mirror space. Once the mirror is broken, the people inside will naturally return to reality. And the actual environment will not change much, but the living creatures that disappear here will be gone forever. Lin Yu did not leave. Obviously, Riot absorbs a lot of dark energy, and the god of symbiosis transformed by the forbidden method of the Dark Book as the final boss of this dungeon. Although it was solved by Lin Yu with one blow, this made Lin Yu feel very pained and speechless. Powerful, what about the danger? System, you are such a liar. Fortunately, the rich rewards gave Lin Yu some comfort. It seems to be a good thing. The rewards of this system seem to gradually become richer and richer as the gameplay increases, and even mounts can be exploded. Lin Yu grabbed the palm of his hand in the air. There is a pitch black horn flute with a symbiotic totem pattern engraved on it, showing an indescribable sense of simplicity and mystery. Lin Yu picked up the horn flute. One blow. Ah! As the deep whistle sounded, from the pitch black void, a large amount of living matter like a symbiotic organization condensed, and formed a pair of huge amounts of black wings. 
Immediately following the center of the pair of black wings, a dragon condensed out, with sharp claws and scarlet eyes, looking very domineering. This symbiote dragon mount looks majestic. 33. Lin Yu's eyes lit up when he saw this, and it feels like there is a spiritual connection between me and this symbiote dragon. I seem to be able to let it integrate with me. Lin Yu thought about it. Immediately. Roar. The symbiote dragon in the air flew over with a black wing, and turned into a living tissue and merged into Lin Yu's body in the blink of an eye. At the same time. Wow. From behind Lin Yu, a pair of black wings in proportion to his body suddenly stretched out. Interesting. After integrating with me, my strength seems to have improved a bit, although it is a bit small, but after all, no matter how small a mosquito is, it is still meat, and the appearance of this pair of black wings is also good, and it has the temperament of a villain. Lin Yu fanned a few times. It was a small surprise to find that the pair of black wings had a certain bonus to his speed, about 10%. Definitely the main thing is that the look is very eye-catching. Although it doesn't match the image of Superman very well, after all, Superman is also a Superman on the surface. A pair of black wings suddenly pops up behind him, which is really a bit incongruous. It doesn't feel right to ride a black dragon either. But well, besides Superman, Lin Yu has other roles. And, this time, there are also 10 consecutive draws of guaranteed purple and rare. Maybe a very DBAF powerful villain will be drawn. The reward this time, whether it's the symbiote dragon mount, or the legendary strengthening medium, the dark pure crystal formed by Dormammu condensing a lot of dark energy, or the symbiote sword, seems to be the only villain. I can handle it. The villains on Lin Yu's side are currently Joker, Yohabak, and Adio, and then there are no more. All three villains have their own characteristics. But when it comes to the power of absolute punch to the flesh, there are no villains like Superman at all. Whether it is Joker, Yuhabak, or Dior, they all belong to the kind that has a good upper limit, but also has a very low lower limit. After all, Joker relies on wisdom and unpredictable thinking, Yuhabak relies on cutting leaks, and Dior relies on stand-ins. In other words, they are all, skills, and are all special abilities. I hope to draw a character like Superman who has absolute oppressive power and is dark and domineering in the 10 consecutive draws. Anyway, it is purple rare to guarantee the bottom 10 draws. The worst is purple rare, and it should be able to get a lot. Good stuff. Lin Yu couldn't help but feel a little itchy. Generally speaking. Before the draw, it's always right to do some mysticism. Such as bathing and changing clothes, such as playing festive songs, such as making yourself look very poor and white. But Lin Yu couldn't help it. His little hand trembled. The reward for 10 consecutive draws was opened. Excuse me, does the host want to do 10 consecutive draws of guaranteed purple rare rewards? Yes, Lin Yu replied. In an instant, above his right eye pupil, the familiar brilliant golden turntable appeared again, but this time the seven scale gems on it were not red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue and purple, but all of them. Purple. As soon as he saw the seven gems representing the rarity of purple, Lin Yu felt very comfortable inside. Made. It's called a lottery. Draw a purple rare, cool. Wow, soon, the turntable turned. Every time it is turned, a large purple virtual card appears in front of Lin Yu, definitely, the content is not displayed, until the 10 turns are completed, a total of 10 large purple virtual cards are suspended around Lin Yu. They are all in an unknown state, and it only takes Lin Yu's little hand to turn it over and know what role he got. I'm a little nervous, what good things will I get? Lin Yu rubbed his hands expectantly. Then, the first character card was opened. Ding. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained a purple rare reward, Homelander. Homelander, can you still get a role that you've won before? Lin Yu touched his chin, forget it, the role of Homelander is okay, I can integrate it into my Superman role to enhance Superman's strength. The first result was not satisfactory, but it was okay. Lin Yu quickly clicked on the second character card. Ding. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained a purple rare reward, Homelander. Lin Yu was taken aback on the spot. Why Homelander again? Lin Yu felt some toothache. Special. He suddenly had a strong and very bad premonition. No, this, Homelander, is the existence of the rotten street in the purple rare reward, right? I can't believe it. 
If the 10 consecutive draws are all Homelander, then he will eat this character on the spot. Lin Yu was a little over the top. He opened the third character card. Then, ding, congratulations to the host, you have obtained a purple rare reward, Homelander. Grass, Lin Yu suddenly felt a little pissed, all the three shots were Homelander, is it still far from all the ten shots being Homelander? I won't be so bad today, right? Could it be that the luck of the Emperor's engine before has completely consumed my European energy, leaving only the bad gas? Lin Yu felt very melancholy. In all honesty, the role of Homelander, as a copycat character born out of Superman, is a man-made product of genetic drug experiments, but it is still very powerful, especially it can be used to strengthen his Superman, which was originally very useful. And, it's not like strengthening medium. The effect of using the same strengthening medium multiple times will be weakened, but the highly repetitive character ability integrate has no upper limit, you can integrate as much as you have. However, now Lin Yu can't help but have a shadow on the role of Homelander. He just wants to say one thing now, why don't you come here? It's a pity that the 10 consecutive draws are over now, the characters I have drawn have been fixed, and only the other side is left. If I knew that the repetition rate of this 10 consecutive draws was so high, I would take a bath first and change my clothes. Now, Madeline, it must be that the rioter's anger has spread to me. Lin Yu couldn't help but want to revive the rioter, and then slap him a hundred times. Roar, forget it, adjust your mentality, maybe there will be surprises next. After all, there are still seven character cards that have not been turned over. Lin Yu took a deep breath from Roar then turned over the fourth character card. Ding, congratulations to the host, you have obtained a purple rare reward, Homelander. The system is basically a copier, right? Lin Yu is speechless, this is so four times in the palace, he swore that he would never do this ten consecutive draws again, it would be better to just draw miracles, that would be fragrant. I said the system, apart from Homelander, can there be any other characters in the ten consecutive draws? Very helpless, Lin Yu opened the fifth character card. Although a bit off, but Lin Yu still feels that there may be a miracle next. Wow, immediately, this character card bloomed with a different brilliance than when Homelander was drawn. Lin Yu's eyes lit up. Finally a new product, ding. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained a rare purple reward, the savior of the wicked, Dio. Dior's complacent voice seemed to sound in Lin Yu's ears, Kono Dio. Maid, Lady Ganline, how about you? Hey, I was thinking about whether I could rely on these 10 consecutive draws to obtain a powerful villain with a very high initial value, domineering and dark, and invincible physical combat power. Now it seems that it should be out of the question. Lin Yu understood. The system's guaranteed bottom line purple rare reward 10 consecutive draws is simply a pit. No wonder it's at the bottom of the list of rewards and it seems to be the basic reward for clearing the Dungeon of Life Foundation. Okay, the harvest this time is actually quite good, there are five character cards next, let's play with it. Although he is very speechless about the level of the ten consecutive draws, Lin Yu also knows that the lottery is indeed very mysterious and cannot be forced, especially since it is a systematic lottery, which is not subject to any ability to predict future realities, influences. All in all, it's all right. It's a lottery. Focus on an optimistic attitude. Ha ha, look how happy I am smiling. Lin Yu thought about it, and punched the ground, smashing the ground into a huge crater like a meteorite. Okay, let me see what this sixth card can give me. Is it Dio or Homelander? This time there is a choice. Ding, congratulations to the host, you have obtained a purple rare reward, the king of monsters, Godzilla. Um, this sudden turning point was a little bit irritating, Lin Yu was stunned on the spot, and then his face couldn't help but look a little weird, the king of monsters, Godzilla. EMMM, I have to say that this role seems to be in line with his psychological expectations. The initial value of the combat power is extremely high, which is quite domineering, and it is not a heroic character with strong roots. Moreover, the physical combat power can indeed be said to be invincible. After all, it is more than 100 meters high, more than three Ultraman is even taller when stacked together, and he can earn a lot of prestige just by relying on his size advantage. However, there is a problem. This is not human. Lin Yu had a toothache and could not laugh or cry. Is it alright if I'm not a human anymore? 
taking out a Godzilla, Lin Yu never expected, but this is a thousand times stronger than another Homelander. If you get him a Homelander, then the Homelanders on his side will be able to play multiplayer sports together happily. Anyhow, the 10 consecutive draws produced an SSR. If you have the minimum guarantee, it is not a loss. Lin Yu felt comfortable, he didn't hesitate. Next, he simply turned over all the remaining four character cards at one time. Ding, congratulations to the host, you have obtained a purple rare reward, Homelander. Homelander, people, gone. The three consecutive Homelander prompts made Lin Yu vomit. It was poisonous. If it wasn't for the fact that Homelander could integrate into Superman and enhance the strength of Superman, he would have smashed the system on the spot. Seven times. There are actually seven Homelanders in the ten drawing draw. Just ask if you are afraid. He can simply summon a dragon. Ding. The system's last prompt sounded. Lin Yu felt that even if it wasn't Homelander, it was probably a Dio or a role he already had. Special. He had given up struggling anyway. Soon, however, Lin Yu's ears moved. The sound of the system actually became wonderful in his ears. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained a rare purple reward, the leader of the cosmic dark matter pirates, Boros. Poros, also known as the overlord of the whole universe, the pineapple, the big pineapple, and, the big brother who drives the spaceship. In One Punch Superman, he is arguably the most inspirational villain. In the battle with Saitama Demon King, in addition to showing a hearty and exciting fight for the audience, people had to cheer for him. Come on, big brother who drives the spaceship. He even uttered a touching quote. If the overlords of the universe run away, who will fight? I have to say, this really brought tears to my eyes. Boros is indeed a man who can be called a god-level disaster. Ordinary people will explode directly with a casual punch of Saitama, and he can withstand Saitama's ace in the game, a serious punch. And for Lin Yu, the role of Poros, it was exactly what he expected. Enough domineering, dark enough, not to mention the initial value of combat power, after all, he is a man who can kick Saitama to the moon, and although, 957, is not a pure human being, at least it is a personal form, not like a brother. SLA is a monster like that. Now that Poros is a cosmic overlord, maybe I can consider expanding the scope of prestige to the universe, at least the entire galaxy. Although there are many flaws in the 10 consecutive draws this time, the final result is still relatively comfortable. Lin Yu has already started to think about how to make good use of the role of Boros. And the best, he can be used with Superman. One positive and one negative, staged a cross-century battle of pros and cons, which can definitely attract attention. Besides, now it's just the prestige resources on the Earth, and it's definitely not enough for him to develop. It is estimated that when his Superman's reputation is all over the world, it will be difficult to generate new prestige on Earth. Lin Yu felt that he had to plan ahead. Expand the field of prestige earning to the entire universe as soon as possible. At least it has to cover the entire galaxy. And Lin Yu grabbed the palm of his hand in the air, and with a rush of magic light like a dark mist, there was suddenly a scroll-like thing in his hand. The scroll as a whole has a dark green color. It looks very primitive. There is a very special light pattern surging on it. If you feel it carefully, you can feel the very obvious flow of time, just like a time gem. I signed in and got this green map in the time and space magic pattern that appeared in the god group. According to the system, this seems to be a treasure map. If you want to open it, you need to get a designated place in the universe. Lin Yu looked at the green picture in his hand and couldn't help but recall the scene in the magic pattern of time and space before. There, huge amounts of the gods appeared. Lin Yu originally thought that the time-space magic pattern would send him to a certain timeline in the past, but he found out that it was indeed the timeline of the past, but it was a mirror image. This made Lin Yu Bai, who saw the Tenjin group, excited. He also thought that he would have the opportunity to play against the gods. And if you sign in in the past mirror image in the time and space magic pattern, you will not get the corresponding character as you would normally sign in, but will get a special treasure green map. Obviously, after the system has signed in, strengthened, and played a copy, it has opened a new function. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunting is fun, but... Lin Yu opened the green map in his hand, and saw a vague outline of a location on it, 
and it showed that the designated location was more than 1 million light years away from the host. This NEMA is outrageous. It's really too far. Such a long distance makes Lin Yu very painful, and this is one of the reasons why he wants to expand the field of prestige into the universe, at least the Milky Way. This kind of treasure hunting distance of millions of light years is estimated to be more convenient only by using a spacecraft with the function of long distance space jumping, and that kind of spacecraft, the shortest distance, also obtains the core area of the Milky Way, those with high technology it can only be seen generally in developed civilizations. Earth after all, compared to the core region of the Milky Way. In fact, strictly speaking, it is just a remote area. Boom. At this moment, the roar of the surrounding space became stronger and stronger. Till the end, the entire different dimensional space was completely shattered and disappeared between the gap between reality and nothingness. Immediately following Lin Yu, he felt a huge amount of space repelling force all over his body, and with a flash of white light in front of him, he returned to the top floor of the Life Foundation Company building. The real Life Foundation Company has not been affected too much. It's just that everything related to the riot has disappeared. The symbiotes, egg bodies, complete bodies and a series of symbiote monsters he created, as well as a large number of clones of Dr. Drake are all gone. As if by a hand. Forcibly erased from reality. Besides, all the people who were originally dead in the Life Foundation Company are also gone, which makes the entire Life Foundation Company seem extremely empty and silent at this moment, and there are almost no employees anymore. The entire company, it has completely become an empty shell. Definitely. At this moment, Lin Yu was not alone. Look not far away. It can be seen that Eddie is lying on the ground, looking like he is in a coma. His injuries are not light, and after several lives and deaths, his willpower has already reached the limit, and he is already in a deep coma. I couldn't get up for three days and three nights. In the other two directions, there are two others, it is Ghost Rider Johnny Blazer and Ancient One. Johnny was also in a coma. It seems that under Lin Yu's eye of condemnation, the fallen angel's vengeful spirit Zatanis tortured him enough. Lin Yu walked to Johnny's side. Lift him like a chicken. Although the host of the evil spirit was comatose, the fallen angel Zatanos in his body was not comatose, Lin Yu said with a smile after mentioning the other party. How about it, fallen angel, can you consider selling your soul to me? Definitely, it doesn't really make a difference whether you think about it or not, after all, no matter what, you will be my, human, sooner or later. Lin Yu has given the other party a gift of soul with the ability of Yuhabok. It's like putting his mark on it. So no matter how the fallen angel Zatano struggles, he will cut leaks sooner or later. Lin Yu doesn't care whether the other party is on him or on Johnny and continues to make the other party a ghost rider. After all, he is now on earth. There are still things to do, but I don't want to get the other party too quickly and open the sign-in of the hell dimension. After all, at the beginning of the sign-in of the hell dimension, we'll start a new dungeon, and it is still a large dungeon. The ghost knows what changes it will bring to the earth and the universe. Lin Yu planned to take some time to relax. Fallen Angel did not respond to Lin Yu. Lin Yu stopped talking nonsense. A big wave. Stab it. He opened a magical portal leading to a prison cell with various torture instruments, and immediately threw Ghost Rider into it. Oh, why do you think Lin Yu has a prison cell? It is also full of torture instruments for various play. What's so strange about this? As a joker, he usually finds some friends to play multiplayer sports and makes them smile and make them happy. Isn't this normal? After installing Ghost Rider, Lin Yu looked in the direction of Ancient One. See you now. Ancient One opened his eyes. He also looked over to Lin Yu. The moment Ancient One looked at Lin Yu, the magic texture of time cycle lit up on his wrist, and the power of time surged in the gleaming green light, like a key thread, affecting the changes of time around him. Speak up. At the moment the time loop of the Ancient One is not over yet. As long as she wants. Direct suicide. Time will jump back to the moment of, Superman, I'm here to discuss terms with you. But this obviously doesn't make sense. Whether it is the riot after becoming a god, or Lin Yu, even Eddie, who is an ordinary person, will never return to the past. The riot and Lin Yu are because the original has transcended the time in the general sense. And Eddie, what happened in the different latitude space created by Lin Yu is no longer affected by ordinary time. In the time cycle, 
paradoxes and faults have appeared in him. In a sense, he will break free from the constraints of time with his mortal body. Ancient One has no plans to use the time loop again. She moved her wrist. Suddenly the green glow of time turned into a streamer and dissipated. At the same time, the index finger and thumb are empty grasping. The light is shining. A green gem appeared. This is exactly time gem. After more than 10,000 time loop death experiences, the Ancient One seems to be doing nothing. Moreover, what surprised Lin Yu was that he actually saw a faint expression on Ancient One's face. This, E-M-M-M, Lin Yu couldn't help rubbing his chin. A strange look appeared on his face. Speaking of which, I have reminded Ancient One of more than 10,000 death cycle memories. Wouldn't it have made Ancient One awakening strange properties? Why is this still unfinished? Superman, Ancient One walked over to Lin Yu after removing the time loop. She asked Lin Yu, did you do it on purpose from beginning to end? Deliberately made me think that you were influenced by the Dark God book, and then deliberately provoked me with you. Forehead, cough cough, it's been seen. Lin Yu coughed dryly, feeling a little embarrassed. He really did it on purpose, definitely, Ancient One saw that it was nothing, the main thing was. Ancient One's next words, when Lin Yu cracked on the spot. Just listen to Ancient One. Superman, thank you. When he said this, he was still grateful, which caught Lin Yu off guard. What, I get it, I get it all, Superman, you are my destined savior, I absorbed dark energy and committed the Sorcerer Supreme's taboo, although I was not affected by the darkness, it brought me inner demon, and Superman, you redeemed me with more than 10,000 deaths. Ancient One said, whether intentionally or unintentionally, your redemption is in my heart. After finishing speaking, Ancient One also gave Lin Yu a magician gift. Lin Yu was about to pee on the spot. Shit, is this even possible? This Nima is outrageous. I redeem you. I redeem you bubble teapot. Ancient One, did you take the wrong medicine? And also, don't come close. I'm not interested in older bald aunts who are hundreds of years old. At the same time, I also understand, Superman, you should have completely mastered the dark book, right? Ancient One looked at Lin Yu with a strange light in his eyes. To be able to control the Dark God Book, this proves that your original righteousness is enough to suppress the evil spirit in the Dark God Book, and you also need a strong ability to know the Dark God Book. All kinds of magic in the book, Superman, you are simply, a born sorcerer supreme. Quote dot 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 quote. Being so complimented by Ancient One, Lin Yu felt a little embarrassed. Where did he get the magical ability? He just violently cracked the dark sacred book, although this seems to be more terrifying than having magical ability. Superman, let's be sorcerer supreme. After Ancient One said the last sentence, he extended a very sincere invitation to Lin Yu. And Lin Yu felt some toothache. He also doesn't know what kind of brain circuit Ancient One is now, he said that he redeemed her at one moment, and then suddenly invited him to be the sorcerer supreme. Isn't this rhythm a little confusing? Could it be that the woman Ancient One really turned into a shaky M? He tortured Ancient One so badly that he killed it more than 10,000 times in the time loop, but made Ancient One feel his feelings instead. And, when Sorcerer Supreme, Lin Yu had no interest at all. After all, being Sorcerer Supreme didn't do him any good at all. Isn't it delicious to brush up your reputation, make beautiful bubbles, drink good wine, and spend your days leisurely? Why are you squatting in Kamar Taj, who probably doesn't even have Wi-Fi? I refuse. Lin Yu simply rejected Ancient One locally. Superman, you really don't think about it. Ancient One did not give up. As the saying goes, the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. You are so powerful, and now you are in control of the Dark God Book. If you are there to protect the Earth, then Dormammu and other cosmic Mephistas who are eyeing the Earth or fundamentally don't dare to make an idea of the Earth, you are really much more suitable than me. Mud play K. Lin Yu rolled his eyes and was about to leave. This sentence can fool others. It's like farting to him at all. Wait, Superman. When Ancient One saw that Lin Yu was about to leave, his eyes moved and he suddenly said, I want to give you something. Talking. Green light glows in hand. Ancient One hands the time gem to Lin Yu. This time gem, I give it to you, no one is better suited to control this infinite gems than you. Oh, is it so good? Free one infinite gems, Lin Yu is definitely happy. And even if Ancient One doesn't send it, 
Lin Yu will also grab this gem directly. The moment when I raised my hand and took the time gem. Ding. Obtained one of the ascension props, time gem. Tip 1. When a sufficient number of dimension raising props are gathered, the corresponding characters that have reached the limit of their dimensional strength can be upgraded and strengthened to become a higher dimensional existence. Tip 2. Dimension upgrade props can also be used as a permanent strengthening medium to enhance the ability of characters with corresponding attributes. The wonderful sound of the system rang in my ears. And Lin Yu couldn't help but move his eyes after hearing the words, thoughtfully. Oh, dimension raising props. It's interesting, my current comprehensive strength can be said to be at the level of dimensional, while the infinite gem's dimension raising should be raised to the level of four dimensional, right? All in all, this dimension raising prop can be said to be a key prop after the strength reaches the bottleneck limit in the future. The system says to gather a certain number. So that means you have to collect all six infinite gems. Looks like I'm going to add infinite gems to my list of plans in the future. After obtaining the time gem, Lin Yu left very simply this time. And Ancient One didn't stop it either. Just looking at the back of Lin Yu leaving, her eyes flickered faintly. Eye of Agamotto is in hand, Superman, even if you don't promise to be Sorcerer Supreme, you are already Sorcerer Supreme, you must, and must be Sorcerer Supreme. Because before you return to reality from another dimension, I I used the time gem to look at the future again, and I watched it, 300 million times. In these 300 million futures, you all died, all by the hands of Dormammu. I tried my best to finally find a winning future when I was approaching 400 million futures, and that future showed Dormammu's true identity, that, is really the most powerful Dormammu ever. Only, also only a true sorcerer supreme Superman can beat it. If you don't, Superman, you'll just die, and the entire multi-universe will be taken over by Dormammu. Ancient One's heart is extremely worried. Naturally, there are not only more than 300 million possibilities for future changes. Logically speaking, with the strength shown by Superman, the Dormammu she knows is at most 50% different from Superman. Dormammu will grow. There are many different ways and forms of growth. After all, Dormammu doesn't have a definite material entity. He is an energy structure, and he is even close to a conceptual existence. No one can accurately grasp the extent to which his strength limit can reach. Now that Superman has a time gem, he should also look into the future. After all, no one is not interested in the future. And if Superman uses time gem to look at the future, he will definitely be able to see more changes and better abilities than me. It's easy to see the true identity of that Dormammu, but none of the 300 million futures of scene show that Superman has mastered the future. Is Superman arrogant and dismissive of the future? Or is there some other reason, like for some reason, Superman doesn't see the same future as she does? Ancient One is not clear. But the Ancient One knew. Now that such an extremely bad and dangerous future is revealed, the death of Superman, Dormammu takes control of the multi-universe. Then, no matter how much the possibility is, she will try her best to avoid this happening, and push it to that victory and peaceful ending in the end. Superman, we'll meet again. Ancient One's eyes showed seriousness and solemnity. The future of Superman's death is still some time away. She plans to retreat first, digest what she has gained today, and strengthen her strength. After this battle, she feels that she has a deeper understanding of magic. She has been a hundred years old. There is no such feeling. Think, wave your hand. Suddenly a magical portal to Kamar Taj opened. But just as Ancient One was about to step in, he paused again. She looked back at Eddie, who was fainting on the ground with a badly injured foot. By the way, I almost forgot about this guy, so let's take him to the hospital. Hey, my head hurts so much. Eddie opened his eyes. Find yourself in what appears to be a hospital ward. He, on the other hand, was lying on the hospital bed, his foot crushed by the broken column had been treated, and other injuries on his body had also been bandaged. At first glance, the whole person looked like a mummy. Am I? Saved. Memories flashed through my mind. In the end, it was fixed on the tall and invincible figure of the man, Superman. Did Superman kindly send me to the hospital? Superman is so nice. He is a righteous superhero, I really hope he will pay for my treatment in advance. Thought here, the image of Superman in Eddie's mind couldn't help but shine brighter, it was like a layer of golden light. 
definitely. If he also paid for his medical expenses in advance, then this layer of golden light would definitely be even more dazzling. Eddie was silent for a while. It was so quiet in the ward where he was alone. Look out the window. I don't know if he fell asleep for a long time, or it has been a day. The night is still displayed outside the window. The neon lights of the city are flashing, the whistle, the noise, and the vocal music from a distance, intertwined, outside. The world must be very lively, right? However, everything seemed to have nothing to do with him. He's just alone. That's all. Quote dot 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 quote. A long sigh. When he was saved, he should be happy, but he couldn't be happy in his heart. Eddie couldn't help but think of little Venom. If you were still alive, it would be great. That way, I won't be alone anymore. Little Venom's young adult voice still reverberated in his mind, from the initial encounter, from today, I'm your boss, to the middle adventure, Eddie, you coward, let's go together, and then to the last goodbye, I'm your boss, and as the boss, I'll cover you, Eddie. Unstoppable. Eddie clenched his fists. Crystal tears gradually fell down his cheeks. If possible, let me formally call you boss in front of you, okay. Oh Roar, this is what you said Eddie, I didn't expect you to secretly cry for me. At this moment, a sly voice of a young man suddenly sounded in Eddie's ear. Eddie was taken aback. Then suddenly, he raised his face. I saw that the window glass that could have seen the night view of the city outside was covered with a slippery dark substance. The slippery, jet black mass squirmed. Just a squeak. Came in through the gap in the window. Immediately after jumping, he jumped directly in front of Eddie like a ball of black slime, and showed a proud anthropomorphic face, saying, Hey, Eddie Eddie, I heard and saw it all, hurry up, call me boss, I can listen. Eddie was completely frozen at the moment. He couldn't believe it. I'm afraid it's really an illusion. Involuntarily. He raised his hand, stroked little Venom's slippery symbiote body, and even pinched it. Then, his hand, starts shaking, trembling with excitement. Real, this is real, not a hallucination. Little Venom, you, are you not dead? Eddie was a little incoherent with excitement. He was so happy. He had never been so happy as he is today in his life. What are you talking about? I'm your boss, how could I die so easily? Little Venom gave Eddie a dissatisfied look. Then swish. Drilled directly into Eddie's body. Following the symbiotic organization on Eddie's shoulders, a head and two slender arms were condensed, and his hands were crossed, and he said with a young and mature look. But then again, when I was caught by the riot and was eaten by him, I thought I was going to die, but just as I was lost, I felt a white light blooming in front of my eyes, followed by, the riot guy the whole thing exploded, and the next moment I was sucked away by a strange suction. When I was conscious, I appeared in this place, why is this? Who killed the rioter at that time? It's Superman. Eddie immediately told Little Venom about Superman, thank goodness, it must have been Superman who killed the riot and saved you indirectly. Superman is really too strong, really, you don't know, the riot was going to when I was killed, I was almost in despair, but at this moment, Superman was like a magic weapon, his figure was so tall and his strength was so strong, just one punch, he actually beat the riot dead, can you believe it? My god, it's really too strong. Quote dot 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 quote. Little Venom couldn't help rolling his eyes when he heard the words. Especially looking at Eddie's way of blowing Superman to the sky. Cannot help but feel a little uncomfortable. Heart sour. Then you can go live with Superman. Little Venom said and turned his head. Forehead. Eddie couldn't help crying and laughing in his heart when he saw this. This guy is actually angry, didn't he just praise Superman a few times? Definitely, my boss, you will always be the best. Eddie raised his hand, touched Little Venom's slippery little head and smiled. Che, you guy, you will say something flattering and ignore you. Little Venom Sunere twisted his head, then swish, and got into Eddie's body, and stopped talking. But Eddie found out. The injury on his body began to improve rapidly, and even the foot, which had been crushed by the broken column, began to feel conscious, and was gradually able to move freely. Feeling this, Eddie couldn't help but be very moved. He knows. This is the little venom healing him. Thank you, my partner, my forever boss. Here is a dark and endless void. There is no end in sight. There is no starting point either. Yes, only complete darkness. Suddenly, wow, 
In this darkness, a huge amount of gap appeared. It looked like an ancient beast opened its bloody mouth. With the sound of rumbling, you could see that the huge amounts of at the gap, a planet, was swallowed in. On that planet, rivers and seas were overturned, countless disasters were happening, huge and towering buildings were collapsing one by one, and the earth was cracking piece by piece. Then, with the countless humanoid creatures above crying and screaming, dark, begin to descend, forever night, began to invade the land. In the end, inch by inch, the planet was completely swallowed up. And the creatures on the planet, under the envelope of darkness, the body structure of the material form began to gradually collapse and disintegrate, and finally the dark energy on the body surface began to crystallize, turning into a black cocoon-like form. Not long after, just hear the click, the black cocoons began to shatter one by one. Then, twisted and hideous black claws, along with the extension of a pair of black wings, slowly stretched out from the cocoon. Lord Dormammu, I'm disturbing you to eat, but I have a question, why don't you devour all the creatures on this planet, it's a good meal, especially if you can leave me some. A ghost-like guy appeared. His lower body is in the form of twisted nothingness. But the upper body, if Lin Yu is here, will definitely be able to recognize it, it is exactly, Riot. Humph. I gave you a lot of energy to help you become the god of symbiotes and asked you to kill Superman, but you actually failed, and you were killed by someone with one blow. You still have the face to beg me for food. Beside the riot, it looks like a huge amount of head, I can't see the specific appearance, only the raging magical flames burning around the head, and your pair of dark purple deep eyes that seem to contain infinite time and space. This, surprisingly, is the lord of the dark dimension, the universe Mephistodormammu. Dormammu snorted as he watched the riot. I'm still keeping you, and it's already a great mercy to you not to let you end up like Caecilius. Yes, Lord Dormammu is merciful, everything is my fault. Hearing the words of the riot, he shrank his head very much, but his eyes also showed helplessness, but, Lord Dormammu, that guy Superman really can't be measured by common sense, that guy is really, too perverted, ghost. Knowing that I have become the god of symbiosis, I will be killed by his punch. Thinking of the riots here is very painful. Maid. Superman this guy is not human at all. HMPH, after all, you are still too useless. Dormammu still snorted coldly, definitely, Superman really can't be measured by common sense, so this time, I plan to prepare a big gift for Superman. I got inspiration from your symbiote family and developed a new dark magic, then it is to use the power of darkness to smash and distort the soul and material body of the creature and reconstruct it, thereby creating a special kind of dark creature, which I call the sin-eating spirit. Sin-eater, yes, there will be contagious dark energies in the body of the sin-eating spirits, they can break the original material and soul structure of any creature, thereby turning it into a new sin-eating spirit companion, constantly spreading, until it causes, the flood of darkness. Dormammu sneered, and my first launch site will be. Earth, the riotous eyes move. Hee hee, riot, your vision is too short-sighted. Dormammu's eyes showed a deep light, and he narrowed slightly, the earth is only one of the places Nuo Li Jiao even a trivial place. My primary goal is the Nine Realms, headed by Asgard, the God Realm. The entire World Tree celestial structure, and then through the branches of the World Tree, cover the entire universe. I will cause the flood of darkness in the entire universe. E-M-M-M-M. Hearing the riots, I couldn't help but not know what to say. What the Nine Realms, Asgard, World Tree, etc., seems to have touched his knowledge blind spot. After all, he has always stayed on his own symbiote parent planet, and there, it is even more remote than the Earth, the Earth is very important to him. It is enough to be considered a, big city. Definitely, this place on Earth, I will still focus on it, after all, that is where Superman exists. Dormammu looked at the riot, this time, I will give you a new task, I will give you a new life, and all you have to do is to find a way to let the sin eaters I created completely infect all human beings. Strong, but he is only a person after all, when the flood of darkness has become a general trend, even if he has the ability, he will not be able to turn the tide. Yes, this time I will definitely complete the task. Hearing that Dormammu was about to give him a new life, the riot was agitated. Maid, he really didn't want to stay in the ghost place of the dark dimension, it was pitch black and bored, and he really wanted to return to Earth immediately. I've already prepared everything on Earth, 
otherwise I wouldn't have rescued that little guy and sent him back to his partner, all of which were prepared for your new life. A slight sneer appeared on the corner of Dormammu's mouth, it's just, from today, you won't have to call a riot anymore. The rioters were stunned when they heard this. What, it's not called a riot, so what am I called? I will give you a new name, remember. Dormammu said, from today on, you will be called, Slaughter. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.